Welcome to the OSR Scuffed Podcast, where we never upload on time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For real. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Min Man Cow, followed by some of the people down below. What's going on, guys? Rexy, as always. How's it going? And uh, Rice Cup. And we got statistically challenged. Sorry, we introduced my bad. It's real awkward. We should probably warn our guests. Dude, you get interrupted every time. (laughs) It's a meme at this point. (laughs) Dude, thank you for coming on statistically challenged, man. Welcome. Yeah, yo, what's up, guys? Thanks for having me on this. But before we talk to you, we're going to talk about our sponsor. OSR's Best in Slots is a website that will allow you to figure out the best in slot gear of your choice whether it is magic, range, or melee. Some of my favorite features throughout this website is definitely the gear compare. Let me go to a chest plate comparison to the Banos chest plate to that of the Torax plate body, a very similar gear. Now we can see like the small differences, really useful when you are trying to decide which gear to use for certain situations. Another really good tool that this website offers is the gear table. So for example, we are now on the stab section. It will now show you all of the best installed equipment for stab. The link to the OSR's best installs website will be found in the description. Please use the link found in the description to support this channel. All right, so we're going to ask one personal question and then one RuneScape related question to my boy Stat. Who wants to start? Let's go top to bottom. Top to bottom. That's how I like it. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you ever made a regular progress video in your life, Stat? A regular progress video? Just like any artist progress video? Yeah, because you know every yeah. RuneScaper starts off. I just got on that now because... I saw well, that. Maybe if you ask the question... Like, you guys might ask the question, but... Okay, so basically off school for the semester. And so now I have time to actually make, like, proper progress videos, so... I hopped on like the restricted Iron Man stuff right now and we're doing it in the wilderness and we're doing it on the wilderness. Like I tried this before, but I had no time. It was actually like an F2P wilderness only series like a year ago. And it just, it was so boring because it was free to play and I didn't have enough time. So I did like one hour challenge videos mainly and PVP content. That was like pretty much it. But now since I have more time, it's like, I'm starting like a whole new series. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. you know i gotta watch that really i've yet to see it pop into my box sadly because i thought your youtube channel is based on you know just some crazy runescape you know something fun to watch i didn't like, know you were actually one-offs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, one-offs, yeah. yeah yeah um so yeah i'm gonna probably do that like try to get two vids a week like once one's gonna be like a fun thing and then once but i've been like focusing on the iron man just because i've had fun playing it yeah, actually so. just playing the game like and building up a character, right? Yeah. Instead I was going to ask, like, like, as a content creator, <laughs> isn't it kind of... It just kind of sucks not actually playing the game for the funness, but actually just trying to find just certain things to make a video yeah, on? Yeah, certain topics. Or... Exactly, yeah. And series are also really like meta now on YouTube, I think, for RS creators. Like, now is probably like the best time to start a series if you're yeah. ever going to do one. Yeah, definitely. They they've always been like meta, but they yeah, yeah, yeah. some of the they haven't been as popular, I guess. Like I think Settled has paved that for us. Yeah, be like honest. yeah, like Bodhi was big. Yeah, like yeah. Bodhi's uh, Iron Man. There's always a Man. one series, you know. Uh, that's it's got like what like one million biggest, views right? on his on one video. Yeah, it's like yeah, insane. Actually, yeah. insane for Rinsky. Yeah. It is really good. Yeah. All right. And now Settled's hitting 500k in two days. <laughs> For one day, yeah, that's right. fucking insane, dude. That is yeah. insane, dude. nuts. That, How many yeah. posters do you think he sold? Oh, dude, sold <laughs> out, <laughs> sold out, man. Sold, sold out. out. This man, man trying oh. to buy, you know, he's like, shit, yeah. I missed it. <laughs> like, he's just he's done a lot for this community. Like, it's insane how much he's done in like four months. Like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah that's very right. true. By the way, can you guys can you guys hear bells? In my background audio uh, when i talk can you hear it i need like slightly no. very no. slightly very slightly okay because no. like there's there's a church which is just <laughs> over there and they're ringing the fucking bells man it's a it's a wednesday Did you yeah, that that video I, like some yeah they gotta be wearing like a crazy good headset <laughs> I that. dude hear that. I, i've got i've got a new emote in my twitch which is like a quasimodo with a bell ringing dude it's great it's my favorite <laughs> mode right now it's actually <laughs> good. i was wondering what the hell that was dude it's demented looking man <laughs> uh, i love it for halloween bro that's awesome right i my question for you 
Uh, statistics. I still got challenge. one personal He's here. Got the personal. Oh, come on, man. Let's get personal. to it. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's I was okay. wondering. Okay. So do you know who Cornelio is? I think I said it. Cornello, right? right? Cornello. Cornello. I've seen Cornelio. It. It's a YouTuber. Cornelio. Cornello. Is that a YouTuber? Dude, yeah. Dude. Yeah. It's the one who makes like videos on like bot selling websites. And... That's his name? Cornello? Is uh, it? I thought YouTube, it was man. something else. That was like Captain. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, I, what's his, is it like a, what's his picture though? I, honestly, I, 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 I don't really know. Oh, call. Colin. Oh, uh, it's right? like a. Colinello, there you go. Colinello's yeah, not yeah, Cornello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, wait, wait. Uh yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, I got his YouTube up now. Yeah, okay, I was wondering because I feel like your content and his content, it's like you're the upgraded PG version of his ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I was wondering if you what you thought about his content in general. If you even Oh watched. yeah. Um Yeah, I've seen the let me see, let me see. I'm going through his videos. I have seen these for sure because I get some of these in my recommended. Uh, uh, yeah, he does like top tens of like random stuff and like, let's see, he does a lot of like the the botting stuff. I I've never really like gone into that like crumb like you know like crumb and oh, this yeah, guy yeah. He's... they're like the same people. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they're more closely related. I think. I yeah, thought they yeah, were yeah. the same person. I thought like, Crum and dude. No, then dude. I should have asked about Crum because he makes all those I videos. I think that's what you're shit. talking about. Yes, Crum, my bad. Fuck these. Yes, blend in together. His videos are more like yeah, mine are just like challenge videos, like yeah. one hour. Like you take one GP to like Verrock and you buy stuff from shops and see how much you can make. Oh yeah, I saw the end of the RuneScape reviews. They're hilarious, dude. Yeah, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, his is more like bonding stuff or like yeah. Have you ever underground found like? You know, glitches. If it's interesting and stuff, to get that's, into. That's, that's right. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of like it's risky because like you don't want to promote that side of the game. Exactly. Yeah. Like it, it might get a lot of views. Like uh, spoke to this botter making billions, of, <laughs> making selling billions of gold. <laughs> yeah. No, it's interviewed. Blah blah blah. You know, it just seems like. Yeah, or like almost... you go to like underground lure market, like makes bills, and then you expose the lure. And there's an oak dice thing on this. He's like. He's like, I, I had a video and it, but I removed it because the freaking lures were like on my ass because they're I'm literally like killing people's jobs like by making a video. Yeah, says, dude, you don't want to get involved, dude. Just play the game, like screw it's those sketchy, people. It's sketchy, I remember I, I found a lure that was in a demo mode down in. Do you know where you get barrow gloves? The little basement in Lumbridge. Yeah, I, yeah. F I found a lure in there. I can't remember what it was. And the I, hole in I, the wall. Was it the whole yeah, it was, oh, the it was something to do with that and something to do with sculling down there. I can't remember what it was, but I made a video which was like, don't fall for this lure. You know, everyone's made a video like that. And the guys were literally messaging me on Twitter, offering me PayPal to remove the video or change yeah. the title. And I was just like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not I'm not changing. No. I'm sorry. How they much were PayPal? really upset. Hey, how much? They were honestly upset that I did it. They were like, you've destroyed our moneymaker. I was like, yeah. fuck, dude. I was like, what <laughs> I'm curious. How much could they offer you to the point where they'd still it, make profit? It, it wasn't enough, but I wouldn't have accepted <laughs> it, even if it was. Because it's just like the principle of it. You know? At that I'm not time, gonna it. when Rixie so, was, yeah. you know, on the ground. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I always wonder about that like content <clears throat> modding or luring, etc. It's like it seems like it's clickable and it's interesting, but it's also I don't know if it's content, you know what I mean? So, yeah, no, because it's, really it, it's like it's really clickable, right? People are like, oh, that sounds interesting. But at the same time, it it's like I you're kind of locked. Is. You're kind of locked on that content. Like I did like a couple of the like not related, but like the closest thing I've ever done to something like that was like there are these there are these joke <laughs> bots where like people set up bots and they would literally sell jokes to players. Like <laughs> it would just be a bot that spammed selling jokes. They'd accept money and just say a joke, right? And there'd be like one per world, like literally on free to play, one per world, probably one guy running a lot of these. And like I did a video where it was like pretending to be a joke bot selling jokes, but I clear I clearly wasn't a bot. Uh and yeah, it's, and then I did like a doubling money one with a twist, but I like actually doubled money. Like I actually doubled every single thing <clears throat> like I got traded, which was and then I had to stake every hundred K, like I doubled at the stake two mil. Or something. So like, but like yeah, that's like yeah, one off. Those ideas, are fun videos. Yeah. That's just like one off. Ideas, videos, right? That's still. I, I, and in the comments, in the comments, I had people saying, 
there's a dude with your name but no space and he's scamming players and i'm like okay well what can i yeah, do yeah, yeah. That, that's, the, that's the trouble with those kind of videos that stuff right. happens um i mean yeah. honestly dude i don't make any of those type of videos but people yeah. I've, I've had people like try to use my name and and you know scam people into ge2 so yeah i don't know um, i think that's just inherent if, if you're known somewhere yeah so there's not much i can do about that part yeah, of it yeah exactly that's true i think right. are those up. the bells <laughs> my phone it's, just give me oh okay. like, can, you, you might be able to hear you might be able to hear that someone's some nokia and i was like oh, that's a new ringtone yeah. i remember that one i, I <laughs> hope these bells don't ruin the podcast like they do my oh, honestly i can't yeah, hear it i can't, I can't hear, hear it. it i thought those I, were the bells I, sometimes i hear the mic ring more than anything that's it so. oh that, that's when i do this yeah exactly yeah, that's, oh, the, that's <laughs> ruining the podcast yeah. <laughs> sorry we're good we're good right so my my question for you is um where the fuck did you come from like i've only recently found oh. your channel in the last month and you got 60k subs like where have you been <laughs> Like what videos have you been doing? You yeah. just like so he's been doing the videos to... that he talked about just now. Yeah, so the uh, series already... kind of boosted. Sorry, go a ahead, lot. man. So, Sorry, go ahead. It, so the series boosted it a lot. Um, you'll see this comment. You'll see this a lot of like people who just started new series of like restricted Iron Man and stuff. They're getting a lot of subs. Like you know the dude who did one chunk. Like one chunk. That was literally chunk until I had to watch the video. I was like, yeah, chunk like he got like he, his YouTube video got his YouTube channel got like 22k in like a month, and he has wow. 22k subs. <laughs> like what? just from one video, yeah, from zero. Dude. dude, look, look, from zero. This yeah, guy yeah, like yeah. The one chunk at a time. Views. Like that he's video like, kept popping up on my on my. But feed, I think right? he's doing something IRL. He's like taking a break right now, and yeah, he had like 400k views on the first video he ever made. So that's pretty big. Do you think it's because uh, he's a Iron Man or because he knows how to use tags? You know, maybe the concept. I, dude, I think it's I the know, concept. Man. They're like hour long videos where he just like talks about it and stuff. Yeah. People just watch. It. I don't know. It's, but honestly, it's, it's I think I think the but... I think the title and I watched a little bit of it. His mannerism, you know, is definitely um, different. Yeah. Right? So, well, keep in mind, I also made like these one hour videos where like some of them would just pop off. Keep in mind, my thumbnails were pretty cringe. Uh, <laughs> a couple like half a year back in there We've yeah there. they're pretty clickbait yeah. um like red arrows and stuff and they just say like nice hey, it works out. though like, you know speaking like, of chunk yeah it works <laughs> yeah. though that's the thing man hey that's yeah. just that's just youtube for you man like, it works it you know, works it, man yeah. i mean yeah. you know you're you're surprisingly you aware an arrow to know? the content and people <laughs> I mean, click on it that's yeah. their fucking fault to be honest I the mean, way the way i see clickbait is like clickbait's okay so long as the content within the video is actually good. Like if you clickbait a video and your content's absolute yeah. garbage, then yeah, I get angry. But if it's like actually good content, I'm like, oh, well, I'm glad that I clicked and got baited into this because I enjoyed the video. Yeah. yeah, that's how I view it at least. You I know mean, that click plate train that we haven't jumped on. What's that one guy who made a pretending to be a female and his video got like 300k views because of the thumbnail? Oh, um, have you seen that? Was that video? Sir Pucker? Sir Pogger, no, uh, dude. Sir Poggers has like over two million views. That yeah, that's like volume. that actually might be the most like viewed. We need to get up on the female the, RuneScape titty market. I'm telling you, there's yeah. Impression. I mean, literally make video about social interactions that people lack. Talking, but that girls. wasn't a clickbait <laughs> one because that Pretend was like, to be a female in the wild. That's yeah. my next. And it's not clickbait. It's just like, oh wow, someone's pretending to be a girl. That's interesting because no, it was yeah. totally. Did yeah. you see the thumbnail? I seen it. It was I've like it, though, World yeah. Thirty Four <clears throat> stuff right there, and I'm not hating. That's genius. I mean, oh, wait, that's what he meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thumbnail for that. Yeah, oh my he's God. got an artist or something that makes like bomb thumb bomb ass thumbnails. Yeah, it's like uh, Bon and things. I watch his videos. And I'm like, it's just a thumbnail to be honest. It really yeah. is. Yeah, that oh. video's got 2.6 million views. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah man. It's crazy. Um, and it's a great thumbnail, dude. Like, it's great. It's really we good. We need to get those thumbs. It's man. really good, dude, yeah. Well, like, it's also the concept, too, you know? Like, to get, well, the yeah, thing yeah, is, it's like... Yeah, people want to watch that, right? Yeah, you're making... If you're making one-off videos, you just have to create something How many people yeah. pretending to be That's a girl it, after right? this video? It's a one-time thing. You, know, you don't have to worry about... It's probably about the normal Continue it again. <laughs> Right. I think it's uh Volkaban and yeah, he's Volkaban, the guy that yeah. he he made my um my art for my YouTube channel and stuff and he's really really talented. I yeah. actually think I, I might pay him to make me a thumbnail for when I finish the series I'm doing right now. I want to upload every episode into like one massive like 5 hour long video or something and have a thumbnail. Where did you get that idea them. from, Rexy? <laughs> my amazing minds, dude, my yeah. amazing minds. Yeah. I was about that too. Into there. 
Uh, I've done one before. I've I've done one before. I didn't say why not. I just see it everywhere and it works. I'm just saying, I was just messing around. (laughs) Man, do your uh, 10 hour PK compilation. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to fly. Damn. Now I'm going to do it. (laughs) I'm going to do it. Fuck it. I'm going to finish the 1K PK series. I'm going to do it at the end there. Yeah. All righty. Well, let's catch on with some QAs, though, bro. Yeah, sorry. I'm a bad. It's my turn soon. It's my turn soon. Big C still got one more. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. For my personal question, uh, how long have you been playing RuneScape for? Like, what year did you start? Every right. time. <laughs> Every time, man. It never fails. I, ju- I like to gauge whether I'm talking to like you know a noob or if I'm talking to an old school veteran. Bro, his name is statistically so, challenged, bro. You know this guy I mean? knows the I, ends and dude, outs. <laughs> hey, look, if it was after 2010, just just say no comment. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, it was like it was like two thousand late two thousand six like the year. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, it's acceptable. It's acceptable. So He's like not as old game. as me, but uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry. First thing I remember school. doing the first thing I remember doing is just going straight to PvP like Iron Sim, Fire Strike or something. Dude, those were the dude. days. Oh, <laughs> Black yeah. Skin, Fire Strike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Like, dude, mm-hmm. he'd make a new account when the other one got too high level or something, and you just go to Varrock Multi. And it would be everyone for themselves. It was the best time, I think. I used to loot all the arrows and sell them for, like, runes. Oh, so fun. Yeah. You'd grab your 10k from Stronghold and you just go PK. That, that was it. That's, like, all I did. And then it got serious with, like, Bounty Hunter, Craters. That, like, looking back at now, like, Craters is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Like, it's so yeah. bad. Yeah. It's so bad. You get a kill, you get punished, you gotta wait five minutes. I, I literally had to interact with it. I didn't even like PK. Yeah, I had to do um, that to split to split God Wars draws. There was definitely then. a hiccup, <laughs> but then but then P Kane came back really really strong in like 2009 or whatever. Mm. That was like the the days, and then Chaotic's like oh, yeah. there it was just downhill. Dude. Two hill, two yeah. KO Chaotic Mall. Soul <laughs> split, dude. Like, what's going on? This is oh, that was awful turmoil. Yeah. 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 That should oh, change every aspect of the game, bro. I, but now we're yeah. now we're like replaying that shit. Like, it's kind of <clears throat> happening again. Like yeah. P Kane's still really good, but other things are destroying it. Yeah, yeah, the only thing that didn't yeah. transfer over from old school was the Varrock activity, wasn't it? Like, yeah, never yeah. the same. Never the same, sadly. Yeah, I mean, the free to play was that some. I was, was thinking like we out. put all the PKs in one spot, but like then you'd have to remove PVP worlds. It'd be kind yeah. of boring, and we'd have Dude, like PVP worlds kind yeah. of blow ass. Yeah, exactly. Dude, there's like no looting bag. Exactly. Raggers, yeah, it's lag. Stupid. It's like just put all the PKs in one area. I think is the best way to do it. Yeah. But... Maybe. Then there's like less content, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah we got loads to talk about in terms of PvP, man. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll we get there. We'll we'll get get there. there. We'll get there. Toe and I. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's my turn. Uh, okay, right. personal right. question. You're definitely yep. in, uh, in school, but right now you're taking a gap year off or something? Yeah, so it's third year university. We're taking the second semester off uh, just because okay. I'm switching majors. Oh. I was not enjoying what okay. I was doing. Okay, yeah, okay. So. so, all right. The question is what were you studying and now what you first is what you're currently studying all right so i was in civil engineering and i'm gonna go to mechanical instead yeah Just okay. I, I did have and i was like nah i see what well, civil is like um building public like infrastructure, yeah, right? structures yeah infrastructure and stuff okay. and then mechanical is more broad yeah it's just, yeah, I, yeah it's just jobs and stuff dude it's like yeah, yeah. i mean wh- whichever engineering you're right, Yo, what are you laughing at man <laughs> Hey That's man, big boy money. <laughs> what are you, a Walmart greeter? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that means you're you, you would you have to do extra years just to make up for yeah, this? Yeah, I'd have another two. I'd have another two full in front of me, basically. Oh, okay. So I basically wasted half a semester, but I see. whatever. Okay. Uh, whatever, it's all good. Hopefully, like it, it was worth it, just building like up a YouTube, and I'm okay. having a lot of fun doing this, anyways. I see. It's pretty awesome. So. Yeah. Seems like uh, you got it down, man. Yeah. You got right, it. Nice. My second yeah, question, I guess, uh, I guess involves YouTube. So, like, what what made you wanna want to start making videos? Like, what you know, what got you into? So, it? I mean, okay, so the first video I ever made was like some piano video. It was like through the fire and the flames on the piano and like the freaking goddamn this guy's talented <laughs> Halloween <laughs> event, sick. Halloween event thing, right? Yeah. Uh, and I get and I got like three hundred subs, and so I was just like, okay, we'll start you got making hooked. like. <laughs> Vids, yeah, would it'll just like whatever, and then I just start making random money making videos, like one hour challenges with my friends, like picking up ashes at the GE in one oh, hour. How many? 
I've been speaking. there. I've done that. Yeah. That's yeah, really yeah. funny. I feel like we both had like the same uh, the same route starting off because that is like the sort of shit I was doing. Yeah. Like, wait, did you say you did like buying stuff from shops with one GP? Yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. I did. I done all that stuff, man. God, those so... videos were so garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Like speaking yeah. of my own, by the way. But like... think about it. Like when you were that small, it's like you would put out something and you wouldn't give a shit. Like yeah, it would get yeah. views and you, you wouldn't care. Risk. The dislike ratio would be thirty <clears> percent. <throat> you wouldn't care. Right? So, yeah, yeah like, that, that that's true. People like same, that. It same. is interesting, but you can only do so much with one. Yeah, I feel like if you, as you get more subs, you really like start to limit yourself. Yourself. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. man. When I first yeah. started, I did I made some dumb videos. Like literally, I made a video about me selling stuff in the Grand Exchange on day one. And sometimes the dumbest videos. Concept. Yeah, those sometimes the dumbest videos are gonna do the. Like that's I remember the we thing. had yeah. Mika on, and he showed us one of those videos, and it was just him at like Trollheim, and his camera was spinning around. He was doing a giveaway, and that was the whole video. <laughs> oh my god! And music on. Oh man! And he was laughing like a fucking horse in the background. We were watching it. <laughs> yeah, funny. man. The, the pros and cons of one-off videos, man. You know, I, 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 that's what I did when I started out, and then I got really into the series stuff. But honestly, I don't know. It's kind of hard yeah. to balance. There's pros and cons in both, and somehow I just ended up leaning towards progress videos. But yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, interesting yeah. though. Yeah, that's interesting. Thanks for sharing. Well, the Q and A is over. We didn't talk about anything sexual. I would have jumped in there, but you guys didn't feel <laughs> bad. Y'all fucked up. Related. Hey, you uh, you okay, could have man. asked that question if you wanted, but we got All one right, question. You, one you angsty question. Teenage. I know, but I went first. You messed up. I fucked up, bro. <laughs> right. Yo, we'll that's give funny. you one shit. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no it's, it's over. over now. We'll, give, we'll give him a break. So, Something's going to come up later. So, yeah. We could. Yeah, we another could. shit story. I, I can already feel it. Hey, Rice, did you hear <laughs> about the poll <laughs> results? Yeah, man. Oh, we want to talk about that right now? Are we going to talk about that right now, or are we going to save her for... Well, do you want to talk about the poll results, or all the PvP shit rakes he just got fucking flown into, my man? Um, well, I, I think we should cover the, the PvP stuff first, because I feel all like right. that's probably a new topic. Yeah, I want to yeah. hear that. Okay. Can you yeah, give us a summary us? of how that went down, yeah. like just a meeting. Yeah. Um... And- okay, so it was it was really good. I really enjoyed it, because there was like a very big how, how do i word this wait like, wait Rixie, the pe- Rixie, yeah. so can you just kind of give us a background of yeah because like, they don't what know what you're talking you, about you know? like oh, what, why did you oh, get okay. they, why did you invite right. you to yeah i'm jumping ahead of myself yeah, right. Yeah. all right so uh a few myself and a few other content creators we were all invited to go to uh cambridge to jagex hq to basically discuss the future of pvp and deadman mode like just changes in general things that could you know help fix or make it active and stuff like that so there was there were a lot of us let me think who was invited so it was myself solo mission uh sick nerds macked up magician we had uh wiggles who's a notorious hybrid in singles very good hybrid uh, pure spam, Aiza, we had Torvesta, we had Fool's Justice, and C Engineer, and I think that was it. I may be forgetting somebody, so apologies if I am. And also Alfie was supposed to come, but Alfie missed his flight or something went down. Alfie didn't Scheduling. realize what it was. Hey, he's yeah, like... yeah, so Al- Alfie didn't come, which is unfortunate. I love Alfie. I love seeing Alfie. He's such a nice guy. Um, but yeah, we were all invited to Jagex and they just wanted to get our insight and like, you know, our ideas and opinions on PvP and stuff. So that's like the gist of it. And it was really good. Like it was really good because the thing is we had people from all kinds of backgrounds. So we had people that like, you know, like Fool's Justice and Wiggled, like, you know, they're both in the clan scene. So they were there more or less representing the clan scene. Uh, like myself, I would say that I'm not really a PKer anymore, but I used to be heavily involved in PKing, and I stopped because of what the wilderness and what PvP has evolved into. So there was just there was a lot of like insight from different backgrounds, which was really nice because we had to come to like a compromise where we could all kind of agree on things, if that makes sense. And I think that's great because if we all went there, say for example, we were all like into clans or whatever. We'd have all went there with the same agenda, which is effectively, let's make clan PvP great. You know what I mean? But it wasn't that. It was a case of there was people from different backgrounds, solo PKers, clan PKers, people that used to PK and don't PK anymore. There was just a lot of us, you know? And yeah, it was it was really good. Like I have to say, I'm really excited to see what happens with PvP. 
Like, so, I'm so excited. Someone in chat said, why was Sickner there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dude, they, Sick... they even invited Ayiza, right? So what was his Yeah, role? Ayiza just chilled like, hey, what's up, Sickner? How you doing? Dude, I'm just listen, here for listen, every event at this point. I, I, I have... <laughs> just people me, just are always, me. People are always going to slay people that are invited. Like, it, it's just the way it is. People are so fucking entitled, but whatever. No, we're just jealous but, like, we're not there. I mean, yeah, fuck exactly. I'm like, yeah, hey, I don't so PvP, I mean, but hey, I can look, pitch on that. I can honestly say, Ayiza and Sickner both came up with, like, some phenomenal ideas. I promise you, like, thinking outside of the box. That's the thing, like, they came out, but that, like, this is another way of looking at it. Yeah, Sickner might not PvP very much. So what does he bring to the table? And the truth is, what he brings to the table is, Neutral. as somebody who doesn't PvP, what would make him want to get into PvP? Which is That's a really point. important side, you know? Because, like, we don't just want to make people happy who do PvP currently or Jagex don't. Like, they want it to appeal to a broader audience. So he was a really good candidate to bring in and talk about that stuff, you know? Everybody that was there... There was a very good reason for them being there. At least I believe so. And I think everybody contributed some really interesting ideas. You know, well, it, let's, it was let's great. Hear them, dude. Did they talk about the world rota for bounty hunter and PvP? Because yes, they're horrible. Yes. They're trash. All right. They make me yeah. want to quit the game. What are like Fuck some you, of the world rota. What are some Fuck of like you. the biggest things that right? You know, you guys, so you want to share? Uh, there was, you? but there was so much stuff that happened. So if you guys just fire questions at me, I'll try my best to remember what was said. But PvP rota was definitely something that was discussed and uh what i got from it like the 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 general feel behind it was that they want to have uh two different pvp worlds obviously like one which is going to be on yes. whatever server one on a yes. different server that's so what, trash yeah that's what they were talking about doing but like yeah. none of this stuff is set in stone by the way but it was definitely discussed and jagex are aware that's what you know a lot of people want and i guess that's true dude yes because it's trash ha like i'm telling you the eu world or whatever it's so laggy and it's super dead now you gotta wait two weeks to have some fun oh yeah. my god some people are well, wondering what that was i guess uh so do they know so every two weeks is it they wrote yeah, it's every two weeks yeah. you yeah. Wrote to the eu and the yeah. eu oh my god i feel like i'm playing minecraft how yeah it is it's like that two weeks it's on freaking 318 or sorry no, it's on 318 325 or no, it's 324. 318 right and 25, yeah. Yeah, you right. to most PK. Also, pe people are saying in the chat right now, uh, did I sign an NDA? I did. However, this stuff has been confirmed I can talk about. I can talk about all PvP-related stuff. There's just like a handful of things I can't so, talk about. I which is we fine. squeeze info out of you, do you go to jail? Or how does that work? It depends who you ask me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. Any, anything PvP related, I can talk about. It's been confirmed. Uh, I checked while I was streaming earlier. And all right, okay. Said it's all all right. To go How ahead. about this? How about I sort it for you? What is like the favor suggestion from all of that gathering? You know, PvP related. Um, like your, let's say your top five. It doesn't have to be like right. number one. Just, 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 just to clarify to make this easier, there were two separate days. One of them was specifically <laughs> for dead by mode, and the other day was specifically for rejuvenate and PvP. Okay, so two huge subjects, both really of which have loads mode. of stuff on. Yeah, yeah. Give, give us some of, just spit out some of your favorites, I guess, suggestions. Okay, well, PvP, of course, 100%, it has to be the uh, the PvP arena. Like, who doesn't Whoa. want the PvP arena? Um, Is someone mowing the lawn? <laughs> I keep hearing whales. <laughs> oh, somebody's hoovering up. One sec. Hoovering? <laughs> Sorry, right, boys, the door is shut. I can't do anything about it. That's a verb? Hoover? They're, they're, hoover, they're hoovering. They just got a new Hoover. That's what they walked by with. You look what very happy. With this. What's a Hoover, hoover dude? Wait, what? What do you mean? So, a vacuum? Oh, okay. Like okay, okay. Scooter? Okay. Yeah, was, okay. that's what I was guessing. <laughs> scooter. Do you guys hoover, not call them hoover. Hoovers? No. I'm going to now. It's we've gone vacuum fun. cleaners. <laughs> it's much more fun, dude. Okay. Vacuum. What I, I'm Continue sorry, on. guys. Hopefully, that'll be done soon. I guess so, yeah. it's got a podcast. <laughs> For, um... It. For PvP, 100% has to be the uh, the arena. That'd be fantastic. Which was obviously gonna loop, like it's gonna lead on to like a rank system, Evo yeah. system, something along those lines. And like mixed in with all of that stuff, it's just like you know, little little things that are gonna improve PvP overall. You know, because there's there's a lot of little things. Like, and I, I'm talking like from little things such as like if you drop an imbued ring before you die it stays imbued and you can just run back and pick it up yeah, like cool. things that are as small as that to as big as like a rank system that there was a lot like of stuff yeah, what about, about that elo system then have they apparently it's coming into play 
Have they, they like, tried that before? Um, is that DA? Did DA they DA try it before? When they tried yeah, it, Elo, LMS, well, LMS. Oh, well, LMS was not. Elo was ball, yeah, dude. you could never lose Elo as long as you Did played you hear that the Rot leader lost 100 games in a row? <laughs> <laughs> I remember hearing that. Really? Yeah. I used to be sick at that, man. Dude, um, yeah, but yeah, points. people were asking about AHK usage, and I'm guessing they're talking about third party clients, right? And how there's like yeah. auto switches <laughs> and stuff like that. And uh, we were told that everybody who has been doing that have all been put on a list and are soon to be banned, right? Which is fucking See great. See you, cunts. Suck you know? my team. Yeah, at least so, they get no, detected, right? That's yeah. good. Yeah, right. yeah, they're being detected. The idiots that are using these like auto prey switching, auto eating, auto specking, they're on the yeah. list. They're getting their asses banned. Good fucking shit. You Victory. know what's yeah, man. the worst about that? I, I was fighting this dude, all right? <laughs> And I won. I was one of the fight. DDS on a pier. He was like level one, 108 or something. I spec a 27-0 on robes, get him that much, and then he turns his fucking auto switcher on. Instead of poking me with claws, he's doing a half switch every half fucking tick. <laughs> I put it on Reddit because it's so fucking sketch. Got downloaded this shit, and everyone called me stupid. <laughs> <laughs> one guy, that one guy in Dead Man. Mage, he was a blatant HK. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we spoke blatant about that. Blatant HK, dude. That's like, he so literally... Cool. Oh, my God. That was very And he be lost. He lost to make mage. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, dude. Fucking loser. <laughs> Fucking oh, he's coming after me. I mean, you're dude. beautiful. You're yeah. beautiful. Don't worry about this. The only time you can call HK someone garbage. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, I think for the dead man mode discussion that we had, so there's so much that we, we all agree there's no easy fix to dead man mode. Like, there's yeah. never going to be one change that's going to fix dead man mode. So, there's yeah. loads of different options. The leap button. <laughs> <clears throat> like it's, it's just have 1000 1v1s really that's yeah it. well that's the thing that's something that we spoke about right don't and waste everyone's time I, i'm not gonna lie to you i am very passionate when it comes to pvp because i used to love pvp i used to do pvp yeah. like 10 hours a day man it's all i fucking did i wouldn't do nothing or if my team wasn't pkn i'd be sat in a bank with 28 items in my inventory switching them perfectly i was that much of a fucking autist <laughs> like damn. i loved it that was, was my life pkn was it he was you devoted know? bro I really was. I wanted to become the best. Like I was that super, was. I was so passionate about it. So we were there and obviously for me personally, like, I will say this for the record, the reason I don't play demo mode tournament and you might disagree with this, you might agree with it, is I don't like grinding for 10, 12 hours a day for an entire week to have to go through a Morty stage and then be killed more than likely nine My times chance. out of 10. <laughs> and then that's the entire week's progress gone. Okay. And don't get me wrong, I, I'm not going into it thinking I'm going to win, right? But I just don't enjoy Morty. It's not for me at mm. all. I, I never have enjoyed Morty. And if you do, that's fair enough. But personally, I, I hate it. I literally hate it. So there was this idea, and the easiest way for me to explain it would be, like, picture demo mode how it is currently. Uh, and this isn't, like, this. none of this is set in stone. This is just an idea that we came up with. Demo mode as it currently is, there are going to be some changes and whatnot. But when it comes to like the final hour, it would effectively be you'd have the multi phase, which would this was the compromise between single PKers like myself and then the clans. There'd be the multi phase where you would basically be in a mosh pit as usual, having the multi fights and stuff like that. And then once you die from that phase, you get put into the single 1v1s. So even if you do die in multi, you then still have a chance in the 1v1s. There we that go. That for me, that that Compromise. solves my issue. I feel like that kills two birds with one stone because it's like... That's actually a really brilliant idea. Yeah. The multi, so... clans, the multi clans can't be upset with that because guess what? They're always saying multi takes so much skill and so much coordination, which I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm saying they get that. But it also think... gives people the chance who are solo PKers to prove themselves in the single fights. That See, is I'm wondering the best of it. How much skill could come from multi? See, I've seen multi PK and shoutouts calls are great, but usually half, most of the time on demo mode, it's either whoever has the most people win or whoever's like sneaking into a clan and being very sneaky. You know, win. So I have That's a all question. I've seen. About... There's no like counter to that. Yeah. Multi I have a question about that then. So how do you? What if you lose in uh in the multi and then you win in the single? How do you get in? It's like a loser's bracket, but it basically you come out of it. I <laughs> guess. Wait, so, say that again. So Rick? so so you're saying multi get goes first and then whoever loses in multi gets gets a redemption okay. round in singles. Right. Just to like That's say something. again, this stuff was like base. They were basic ideas, and there's a lot to be built from it. But the gist of what we got would be a case of like, say you went into the multi zone and you died straight away. Like you walked in and just 
instantly died. You'd be teleported into the single zone, and you'd have a lot of opponents to fight before I get into the end. Whereas if you were to win in the multi zone, you wouldn't have as many fights to progress and get to the finals. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah. So like, is is the singles round after the multi like a redemption round, basically? Uh, so like, you have a, a chance to get back. To, to like get uh, into like the actual one v ones. I don't really know what you're at. What you asking? Yeah, like, okay, so like... he means if you die, you go to the one v ones, and then if you win the one v ones, you get back into the, you know, you're in the same bracket. You're just lower on the totem pole, pretty much. Okay. Uh, yeah, because yeah, like I obviously so, yeah. the people yeah, that like true. like let's say you know you're you're doing the multi part right, and obviously you didn't die. So what happens to those people that didn't die? Do they just go straight into the real 1v1s? Yeah, because then it's like you might as well started with everyone just doing 1v1s. Right? Yeah, well, th what I'm saying, like, this was just, like, imagine, like, the sketch. Like, yeah, this isn't a yeah. pound eight. This is just an idea that we went on. Yeah, that's like, why I, I'm just trying to off. clarify because, like, you know, if someone doing the multi, which is first, right, dies, then they get, like, a redemption round, right? So that they still have a chance to get into, like, the actual 1v1 parts, like, you know, the, the yeah. real backets, right? So, yeah. like, so that's why I said it's a redemption round, because like, here's your chance to get back in to, yeah. like... Dude, how funny it would be if yeah. there was a redemption uh, yeah, round, yeah, 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 I guess they just right. get sent to the jail midstream and then log out. <laughs> right, all right, <laughs> Robert Robert I just said prize, prize pool for Morty than every, everyone 1v1s. Uh, yeah, if you win the Morty, you should definitely be rewarded with prize, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, 100%. If yeah, your cause... team wins, wins Morty... Then sure. Probably why the clans like the idea so much is because they know they can make double the money because they're probably gonna more than likely win the multi, yeah. and then they're gonna have fed num uh, fed members who can actually win the singles as well. But like I said, I'm not going into this planning to win. I just don't like multi, so I enjoy single. So long as I can prove myself in single, I don't want to win. Although it would be nice just to be able to have that opportunity for me is the biggest thing. That is what makes me want to play Deadman mode. You know? you know, that brings up a great point. Why why don't we reward both, right? Both the uh, clans and the single players, right? Because, like, right now, it's, like, no, like, there's only one winner, right? So, like, if you happen to be in the clan when you want, then the then the clan wins. But if you're a solo player, right, prizes. then the yeah, solo player wins, VIP right? VIP and... and what? And I'm doing a podcast. Can you, can you wait, like, an hour? Is that okay? Because that was really loud. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> that was loud. Sorry. Oh, Thank God. you. <laughs> Racy talking business. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> right. Uh, Sorry, I didn't hear anything you guys just asked. Oh. Did we just lag right there too? Uh, oh, no, God. no. Yeah, I was, I, I, hey, I was like saying. Is upon us. I was like okay. saying, like right now, Dem Mo is is always about like, oh, clans versus you know, the uh, the solo player, right? And then it's always the clans winning, but why don't we change that dynamic? Why don't we change that perspective, right? Like you said, reward the clans when they do their clan stuff, like they win, they can like, Jagus can pick out, oh, this clan won the multi, blah, blah, blah. And then like it gets to the singles where most people are interested in watching. I feel like most people are interested in watching singles. Obviously the singles That's what I'm get rewarded. I'm saying though, right? is that if you reward yeah. clans for multi, but no one wants to watch it, that's like rewarding fat kids for eating a lot, you know? I mean, like, obviously... <laughs> no one cares. No I one guess, right? But at no the end of the day, RuneScape... The clans. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day... It's rewarding clans. Doesn't everything reward clans this goddamn game? The wilderness in general? Hey, even... well, that's the thing, dude. It is like, an MMO, I, though, you know? In here, I, I don't think so. many people go into... I think the only people that go into the MMO tournament thinking they're going to win are crazy people or clans like that's basically it. it's on one hand you got mika and on the other hand you got fools do you know what i mean like they're the two people that or try mika. and win deadman mode but for yeah. like the average player who just wants to partake and have a bit of fun like it basically comes down to what does yeah. that person find fun do you find dying to a clan in multi fun if so then yeah they wouldn't be too bothered about the single phase but personally i won't play it Unless I know I can get to the single. Like, even if I die in the first round, I don't care. I just want to have, yeah. like, a single fight opportunity. Exactly. You know, right? We're all fun. with you on the yeah, single. Yeah, zone. What yeah, we're yeah. kind of discussing is, like, yeah, why is so, there even a multi-zone or reward in the first but, place? So here's the deal. Well, no, unless, to watch no, it. Dude, none of that has been, like, none of that has been confirmed whatsoever. I don't know if there would be a prize pool for multi. But, like, I think, realistically, if whatever clan does win in the multi phase, they should be rewarded. Because at the end of the day, they won. 
Um, but maybe if, like, maybe something they could do, so say whoever wins the Morty Zone, they're not put through into the 1v1s, or they can't win anymore. I don't know. Or maybe they could. Yeah, uh, yeah, something yeah, I feel like that would be a so bit yeah. complicated, right? So but yeah, like, that'd be hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because like, the, the thing is, the clans will feed, like, 10 members, right? Yeah. And those 10 members are going to have max gear. So if they win the Morty, they're more than likely going to win the single, too. So, like I said, this stuff just needs building from. The communities need to get together, yeah, yeah. listen to this stuff, and just think, like, how could this be made fair, you know, or fairer than what it currently is? Yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah, because... Now, here's a big problem. Did you guys talk about Runelite plugins? Not just the auto hotkeys, but mm -hmm. every plugin that's... Custom shit. Fucked. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we did. Um, yeah, you can see I, people I, that are I mean, private off. It's so dumb. So bad. Can you see people they're private off? Are you yeah, fucking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the That's buddy fighter, right? You can That's you can disgusting. outline you can outline a specific player in Dude, like a thousand people. That's ruined rock peaking because you know how you hide it as a rock. Well, if they just see your name pop up, yeah, when you're not in your CC, exactly. You yeah. know, there's no sneaky. There's no it's nothing. Nice, nice and highlighted on your mini map as well. Fuck, dude. Yeah. It used to be skill. Uh, yeah. We did we did talk about the third party clients and how like you know it, it's unfair. A lot of the stuff's unfair with third party clients. I don't. From what I can remember, I think that the plan is basically to bring the original Greenscape client, the old school Greenscape client, up to par with those, and then hopefully people will stop using the that's other the ones. That's the thing. I was oh. saying. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> You, you could see over time that they literally try to match third party like remember before orbs were a thing like third party clients already had orbs and then they came out with orbs and then before like uh the special attack bar now they have the special attack bar and now the map it's like what are they trying to it's like either stop the third party clients like or like why are they hire trying them. to beat them yeah how much, exactly. how much would it even cost to hire the guy who made rune like he knows what he's fucking doing he could well, take that as it's own not website, just him though jacket. it's like a hundred yeah. different contributors, you know, yeah, true. making stuff. Yeah, well, contributors combine. are contributors. Man, yeah, because what like they can they do is the they programs. Can, yeah, they can host it themselves, right? But I think I think originally before like the whole Runelight thing came came to be, it was like a private group that would make clients, right? So yeah. so it wasn't open source like the way Runelight is. And I think originally the way that they thought about it's like. You know what? If we let these guys do their job, we don't have to spend money doing our thing, and True. It, will, uh, it will get people to play the game. <laughs> just because you know, a lot of people are used to uh, MMOs that have way is. more features on their clients, whatever. Yeah. So like, it's like, man, we can we can slack off, not put money into this, and we'll still get people playing. Their know? laziness has gotten many people yeah. hacked from trying to find third party clients. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, fucked. yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I don't, I don't money necessarily agree with that mindset, but I'm oh, pretty no. damn sure that's what they had going, right? Like I from a business so standpoint, it's like played. easy money, you know, easy player, bit. boom. I don't see it's what terrible idea, though, to be honest. Terrible idea. Other questions? What you guys got? What do you want to know? Oh yeah, were any was any wilderness content being added? Like a big wilderness rejuvenation. Uh, more skillers, like, bring uh, more skillers into the fold, right? <laughs> not I, even I mean, that. Just like bosses or like uh, caves or something. I don't know. We we brought a lot of ideas to the table. Like like I said, none of this stuff is set in stone, by the way. But there were a lot of ideas, such as like I don't know, like there was one which was basically like a wilderness boss that would randomly spawn like every five minutes of random places around the wilderness uh which yeah. would drop like a decent amount of wealth and it could be random where it spawns whether it be single multi and stuff just a wacky idea like that's what it was about imagine just like come up with the most random idea it could be anything just like taking clan wars and like or castle wars and Dude. sticking it in the wilderness it the most wacky stuff deep you could think will of, just be jad. Stuff. deep will deep be jad. Jad. But, be um, hilarious yeah there, were, there was quite a lot of stuff but I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I remember there was the uh, the wildy bosses they were speaking about. There was just loads of stuff, like loads of things that you can imagine seeing for yeah. wildy Oh, I have a question about the wildy bosses. Are they gonna make them actually not shit? Like in terms of yeah, mechanical that, what, that design. Was, that's a uh, good question. That, that, <laughs> that was that was brought up in the sense of uh, TOB is apparently like I don't know if this is right or not. This is just what they said, but they said ten mil an hour. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Oh, TOB. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, for like and the they, top. One like percent. Yeah, yeah, for the top. And, and then what? What they were saying was like, bring the wildy bosses drop tables up to par, 
and like actually make the bosses harder, I guess, because you can save spot all of the wieldy bosses pretty yeah. much mm -hmm. and make yeah. them more rewarding. You know, like if you're killing something in the wieldy, then you should be rewarded as high, if not higher, than just like basic PVM stuff in safe zones, which, yeah, it, it makes sense, you know, taking into consideration the risk you take in being there in the first place. You know, yeah, Vidian's a pile of shit. Well, okay, before they like, you know, try to improve the GP per hour and all that you know mumbo jumbo they need to make it so that the bosses are actually mechanically sound because yeah. right now like let's say you actually fight fenanatas for real right you literally randomly get to, uh just two shot one take kill randomly just, it's hilarious you just die and then <laughs> and then that. if you do it properly you only get yeah. a few kills you know what i mean you only get a few kills a trip unless you have like crazy crossbows and and shit no actually that's probably not the best example because like i think vedion and callisto are the worst because, like, no matter how good you are of a player, if you don't cheese it, you just take so much damage. You just take a billion damage. Especially Rachel, at Callisto. Are you telling me I should buy out all the wilderness yeah. weapons from Rev Caves before this video Ooh. goes live? Uh, I don't I know. know. I don't know, but... But, like... No. Dude, I'm telling you, these yeah. were just... We had, like, a million ideas on sticky pads. We stuck on the wall, and then we start the ones we like the most. And these are just, you know, they're all going to get looked at, and some of them will be prioritized over others. Yeah. But there was, there was a lot list? of good ideas. Delete list, Desert <laughs> Mode, Vedion, all right? Black Dehyde. <laughs> yeah, what about we're Black Dehyde? We're going to buff Dehyde, man. We're buffing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. the shield okay. would be good, too. What about the Black <laughs> Can we get a two-handed uh, Black Dehyde shield? <laughs> with with Dehyde, from what I can recall, it was basically a case of uh, Black Dehyde has better melee stats than what Carol's does, which doesn't make any sense because Carol's Yeah, Carol's should be just better flat out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who gives yeah. a so about they were, melee? <laughs> they were talking about that stuff, uh, but that's all I can really remember about the dehyde. They were talking about uh, slashing the melee defense on it and stuff. Get the magic defense out of there. Get that <clears throat> shit out of there, man. But Believe I think what the they shield. What, what I think they want to do is they want to completely rework like the combat triangle, right? Like oh, you know, no. you can oh, you can you'll change. See. Oh, no. oh, oh my god! god. No, 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 not, not, not like not like that. I'm yeah. just saying, like, you know, if they, they can change, like, a certain item or whatnot, and they can make it slightly worse or better, but, like, overall, what's the actual problem? And, you know, I don't yeah. think that item is the problem. Like, the actual combat system they itself is the, the problem. You know, you know, in a year, we're going to be called the Minecraft Podcast, and I'll be oh making fucking progress videos on Roblox, <laughs> dude. All right? <laughs> year, I promise. Dude. No, stop spamming the OC, boys. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. And it's oh. also... It's a discussion. Like, it, right, it wasn't okay. like, like this is it, being done. The, you know? For comparison's sakes, magic is one of the, like, out of all three combat styles, it's the most fucked up. Yeah. Because, because yeah. say you have 99 defense, right? And, and and whatnot. That actually doesn't really impact your, your magic resistance at all. That's based on your magic stat, your actual magic level. So your magic yeah. level is actually both your offense and defensive yeah. Yeah. stat all all in one and and it's not one to one it's like 30 30 percent of whatever your magic level is that's that's also your magic defense whereas range and melee they all roll on the same defense right like 99 defense impacts how often a range attack will hit you 99 defense will impact how often a melee attack will hit you right but magic is like i don't care about your defense level you know like all yes. i care about is your magic level and your magic you want... equipment so go for it Go for Can it, you my pray man. the mystic prayers and it helps? Like a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it that's bullshit, your magic dude. And defense, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mystic Might's 15% magic attack. I don't think Mystic Might should... Yeah. Oh, I guess it does, yeah, increase the defense. I know, I know yeah. we're memeing about EOC too, but I'm it's not about EOC, a little no. scared because you have people who don't PK and then they want to rework the triangle. When they didn't even know Black Dehyde was wrong, they added goddamn shield. The bulwark fucking exists for seven mil. I mean, then they're gonna rework the damn PVP system. Yeah, you know it what? Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know? I feel you. I feel you. I feel like yeah. The, you, the you whole don't. reworking of the combat triangle. Yeah. Like we're talking like a tiny, tiny subgenre to like the actual discussion. It was literally just brought up. Yeah. That could be worked on. Let's move on to Here. something else because that's like that needs like a whole fucking month of discussion. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so I, I would. Magic defense. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I would say yeah. I would say they definitely shouldn't change how the how like the stats you know any of the stats work, but yeah, I agree. Right, Black Dehyde does have like a lot very high magic defense for how easy it is to get. Um, I was thinking if they can ever upgrade their eleven dollar server 
to something more <laughs> competent. Because right now, I remember them saying that they can't change it so that one item can have two different stats depending on where you are. Because, like, let's say um, if, 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 if they could, Isn't right? the blow pipe like that, though? Can you fucking yeah, imagine exactly. someone raising their hand well, in the, the meeting? Stats, can we upgrade the, stats the, are the same though. Oh, yeah. it's just the attack speed. Yeah, right? yeah, stat, yeah. So yeah, stats. Right, the right. stats are the same, but they just change. Yeah. They manipulate the attack speed, right? True. So, that shit was broken day yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I remember. It was amazing. I mean, it was amazingly hilarious, but definitely yeah. not good for the game. I mean, I, I'll say this real quick. This is uh, mm -hmm. going to be controversial. You guys might not agree, and there might be a lot of people that disagree with me in my chat you'll and in see. the comments section. You'll see. Right? It's going to be you'll see. <laughs> okay. This is a very controversial one, but I, I said, look, the way that PvP is right now, it's not great. It's yeah. been on the decline for a long time. Like, pretty much every aspect of PvP is just old style, and people just people are losing interest, okay? Now, they showed us statistically how many people PvP, how many people PVM, how many people skill, etc. And PvP, believe it or not, is still the majority of what the RuneScape player base does. I know that no. sounds crazy, but it yeah. actually is. Have you yeah, seen when... Slayer Caves, dude? Yeah, because uh, all the bots are in the that, world. Well, that's, that's, oh, that's okay. the thing. That's the thing. Like, it takes into consideration like everything that happens in the world you like. So, so just what, does it, take, it's not just what does it take into so consideration, like, though? PVM. Right. It, what it takes into account is everyone that is either in the wilderness, in PvP worlds, it's all true, of that though, shit. I think, like, look at, look at the Red Caves, people for making Red shitty Caves wilderness so Iron Man. <laughs> it, 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 it's, not, it's not to say that it's good, all right. but there are a lot of people that still PK. But if I get to my point, what right. I said was, um, like, there's obviously problems with PvP, right? When it comes to making stuff past the polls for PvP, for whatever reason, whether it be people like you, people like to mean and say skillers vote no for everything. I don't think that's the case, but I think there are some people that do do that. Okay, but like I said, this a lot of polls for PvP have failed by like two or three percent, right? And the trouble is where nothing's being done with PvP and it clearly needs updates. I said I would have absolutely no problem in this scenario with PvP with Jagex just taking the fucking reins and setting like a bar. So say like. If an update doesn't pass by like 5%, Jagex have the final say on what happens with it. Because like, we're just going around in circles. Nothing is getting done. And I said to them, look, I completely understand why you guys really want to stick to the whole 75% passing thing. It's because in the past, Jagex didn't listen to the community whatsoever. Like back in the day, they didn't give two shits, whereas now they care too much. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's really difficult to be able to please everybody. And if something's barely, barely missing the vote, they should have the final say on it because otherwise nothing happens and we just stay stay with what we got right now. And I think we can all agree yeah, that what yeah. we have right now kind of sucks. You did know? You, did yeah, you tell I mean, me about the double fuck up theory? Uh, the what? The, the what? double fuck up theory. No, what's that? Well, they fucked up everything else. Who gives a shit about this, right? Just go ahead and do it. You know, like, it's not like it'll matter because <clears> the servers are shit. Tournament went to shit. Tebow spawns. They could do whatever they want, man. Why do they care? Why do they care? Yeah. They can get away with murder, but they care so much when all these fuck ups are happening. Just throw one in there. I don't know why they just strap strap one on right and get it done. I, I think they do need to take the reins when it comes to PvP. For real. Like you know, I, I don't have a problem with them taking an update which just slightly failed and just rolling with it or like yeah, looking more um, into it and stuff. Like, I really have no issue with so, that. At all. So so. You, you know what you know what's kind of funny in a way I, i'm thinking about it like let's say they fix the problems what what will make it but but that doesn't necessarily mean that people won't won't uh keep complaining though you know what i'm saying one problem's fixed another problem will arise right so i yeah. i feel like i feel like there's so much noise right that that um we might not be able to filter out what's actually important and what's not because i i hear a lot of people complain about things everything so many things pvp there's probably like 50 different topics that people complain about but which ones are really important which ones are actually critical to you know the longevity of the game the longevity of the pvp scene i i, re I think we really need to start filtering right like maybe figure out like the top three things that that they can focus on and just do a really 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 good job at right? <clears throat> yeah do you know I'll, I'll say this something that i did bring up which i think would be good is that they were saying that a lot of polls for PvP just slightly fell, okay? And a reason for that is because people are very disconnected. This is how I see it. Like, there are different groups in RuneScape. Everyone's disconnected. So you've got the skillers, the PVMers, 
you've got the Iron Men, you've got the few cares, etc. Everyone's disconnected. And the thing is, people aren't that educated and people are just a little bit uh, misinformed on some stuff. Like recently, the whole Black Dragon Hide, um, you know, they were trying to get the God Hide chats for Pures to pass. Like yeah. a lot of people that voted no didn't know that Pures already had Black Dragon Hide. They thought they were getting like a huge fucking boost, like a massive boost. You know what it is? The wording. They people did, don't they know did that terrible. stuff. Yeah, they did a terrible job with the wording. But I like... Mean, even so, not, some people. I'm not gonna lie. I actually missed that part, and I'm not allowed mm. to talk about it anyways. But I got yeah. to the uh, the thing like two hours late because my taxi just shot the bed. So I missed oh, morning completely. Dude. Yeah, I, 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 but I, I wouldn't be able to talk about it even if I did hear it. But yeah. um, if they informed people like more, and like like something I said is like people are disconnected nowadays. Like the thing is, the way that like the economy works right with runescape like back in the day it was so crystal clear because we didn't have the grand exchange now i'm not saying for one second we should remove the grand exchange i'm all for the grand exchange but i'm Imagine. just giving an example back in the day it was like say say you were a pk and you wanted sharks you would go to the fishing guild i used to be one of those fishers and then you'd see some dude rolling in with like a whip berserker helm fire cape room plate and legs and it'd be like this guy's a fucking god and he's buying sharks, you know. Buy so everyone sharks. was like, everyone was connected. Whereas now, there's just, they just cut out the middle, man. And you just go to the GE. Like, where yeah, do your sharks come point. from? Yeah, where like, the community's not connected. That's why there's it's such not. a gap between skill. We sacrifice like, yeah, yeah, convenience for. No one's connected, yeah. dude. Yeah, there's, exactly. there's a huge, yeah. there's a huge disconnect. And if they were to bring out, say, like I don't know, a video or a post or something cool and quirky that just, now I don't think this would fix like huge issues, but it would just let people know that as a community, we are a fucking community. It's not a case of, I'm a skiller, fuck everything else. Like, we are all connected. Like, when you sell your sharks or sour brews, like, you're selling them to a, a, a wider, a wide amount of different people, whether it be PVMers, PKers, whatever, you know? Everyone in this community is connected in some way, except with the exception of obviously being an Iron Man. That's the only thing which is solo. But, like, for the majority of people, we're connected. You know, like, Yo, the, I'm the not game, gonna the lie, economy, hey, everything. Even, even for Iron Man players, they have, like, a crazy community. Like, together, yeah. they, they, like... Yeah, so even they themselves have that. Like, even uh, the very, very tight... Split, yeah. We're yeah. Very split, yeah. Yeah. So, I, I think, like, maybe just, like, trying to close those... Like, you know, those bridges and gaps between the communities. Like, I, I don't think that would have... That, that wouldn't be, like, a bad idea at all. I think only good could come from that. And I'm not saying that would fix the issues we have with the game. Yeah. But um, I think it would be, like, you know, a nice... Maybe, like, a hippie way of looking at it, you know? Hippie. Like, I'd like to see that. I personally... Yeah, so... See, runes? Oh, go for it, Stat. Go for it, my yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Did I see something? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, what's what that? I want to say? I, I want, there was say? a bigger issue to talk about. Just GE... I think a GE tax should be in the game, because... You see these weapons and everything going like to such low prices now, and it's like, what's going on, man? Why isn't Elder Maul like 14 mil, dude? Okay, I'll explain that's why Elder Maul is 14 mil. 75 attack GE weapon. Tax. That's yeah. fucking brilliant in a way. Because these would you only tax well. items over a certain limit? Yeah, over or... like 1k or something. All right, well, okay. let me. <clears throat> because it's a middleman doing something for everyone. Like, there yeah. should be a price you pay for getting a so... quick sell, and that would also. Uh, you'd write some, I think you're gonna say what I'm gonna say, so you can. Go. But um, I, I just wanna, I just wanna like say something about the Elder Mall, okay? So the reason why it's 14 mil is because it's useless. That's why. Yeah, the Insta's got nerfed, so now all the freaking HKers using the Insta are buying Elder Mall. Yeah, and <laughs> and also on the Gmail, PVM, right? it's not just because of PK. On the PVM side, the Elder Mall had had some oh. places, had some really good places, yeah, true. but they've changed some of the bosses where the Elder Mall was like pretty damn good. So it's uh, become it's becoming very much so useless in every aspect. PK, what if the elder was best in slot for that weird chest tongue thing? Yeah, dude, so. I'm buying them now. Oh, love. So yeah, it, it dropped a lot <laughs> because stuff like scythe came out. Uh, Tecton's defense got nerfed a bunch, so you don't really even need the elder more anymore. You can That's literally true. just poke that shit with like a rapier or whip. It you know. Oh, it's all but, but even like, like the AGS yeah. too. AGS like, too. Yeah. Down, right. Right. But, like everything. I'm gonna. Going I, except for the like, Gmall. <laughs> what I've spoken about so far. Like, yeah. we're skimming the surface of the stuff that we spoke yeah. about. There were so many cool ideas that came out of it. I'll give you an example. Like, Wooks was invited to come to the uh, the discussion. He didn't. He was too busy, far too important to waste his time. True. Yeah, 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 it's like, it's yeah. not PBM. I, I don't want to. He, he no. sent an email basically, like, you know, the cure to the game. And he, he no, he came up with a really, really fun, uh, like, I'd the say... Bible. Yeah, I'd say, like, Torment, mini-game. Like, this, this could be anything. Regardless, it's a really cool idea. 
and it was okay. effectively hunters and hunted. So his idea of it was basically uh, you start in this world and the goal of it is you're, you're either a hunter or hunted and to change what you are, whether you are the hunted or the hunter, uh, you have to go into a safe zone for a certain amount of time and switch it. So basically here's the premises. So in your inventory, you're given effectively like a looting bag, like a miniature bank, right? And if you're a hunter, you go out and you kill the people who are hunting. So the hunters, they're visible inside of the banks and they're visible everywhere. The hunted, the people that are gathering and doing the skilling, they, when they go into a safe zone, are invisible, but they can see the hunters. And what they have to do is they have to go to these skilling locations, collect resources, get their levels up. It's like a, a tournament in the sense of like getting the biggest bank and getting your levels up, etc. And then what, what you could do is say say you're a hunter, is, sorry, you're the hunted as well, and you're next to some dude and you notice he's been like doing the same thing for a long time. You could pop to the safe zone, become the hunter, kill him, take all of his shit, and reset him. Something along those lines. I've not really done it justice, but it sounded no, like I, a really promising mini game. About, because there's an MMORPG, right? Yeah, I can't yeah. remember what yeah, it's yeah. called. And there's uh, uh, merchants, and then you can hire a protector for your merchants, and then there's uh, the people who hunt the merchants for their loot. And if you get the merchant to a safe place, then they make money, they split it with you. But if you kill the merchant, say you're the hunter, right, in this situation, you make absolute bank. Either way, there's money to be made, and there's a fun part of it where the survival or a pecan would this be a mini game though like a place where well, you jump into it from, from how it sounds personally i think it would be like do you know how they have like the uh king of the skill or whatever it was called that the skilling tournament is it king of the yeah, skill yeah. yeah yeah so it would it would just be like something like that would like a random tournament would come out for it like bear in mind this is just like we just gave like a, a small foundation an idea it needs to be built upon but like it, it sounded quite fun do you know what i mean like you could hunt people or you could gather stuff and you can do both you know? would you be able like i guess it since it is just an idea to build me of dark anti-pk that'd be dope anti-pk section where you could have like one spec weapon and hunt back in some like random way but you choose Yo. your own spec weapon dark bow dds dragon claws you all so Yo, what about you hire enemy. bodyguards in those worlds like there's a system what? where you Maybe enlist no. bodyguards like your richest by the part... way stream they can see you now just yeah, yeah. Know, be, be so, nice so, so someone said why would you want to be hunted and that's the thing it'd be a tournament like the person at the end of the week or however long the tournament goes on for you has the most experience and biggest bank you know, like the thing is, not everybody's a PKer. What if you're like a very good skiller, but you can't PK? Of course, Some you're people only like going to be hunted. And be you, might, you might be amazing at what you're doing. You might be able to get, like, that's the thing. It makes it competitive because it's like four people who are PKers and also for skillers at the same time. If you're a really good skiller and you know how to tick, manipu manipulate like everything, you'd probably get a lot more experience and money by being the hunted instead of being the hunter. You know what I, I mean? I say we delete LMS and put this fucking idea to work because I love tanking. Every aspect of that sounds fun. Oh my God, every every aspect. And then I can learn how to skill. I don't know how to fucking skill. I don't, it doesn't sound fun at all, but if I'm getting my ass slapped mid-between, you know, that's, I would want to learn. I really yeah. would. Hmm. I feel like if the PvP arena comes out, I don't see why anyone would ever go to the world. So yeah, like to be gay or I feel PvP. like wilderness can al will always be a place like the arena just for eliminates every issue like well, no bounty more hunter it does it does, it does like yeah almost two plus mil an hour that so, that is fun too yeah that's true it really depends do you want to make money or do you want to slap ass and there's, there's still wilderness slayer so people would <laughs> have like a reason to go there yeah did you no, guys I'm... bring up wilderness slayer because if you're adding two bounty underworlds oh yeah true that's like and you gave the emblems up. coming in from the For boss. Real? Yeah, yeah there, there was some stuff was spoken about with Wilderness Slayer and how it should be brought up to uh, what, what's the new Slayer Master? I've not Konar? done it yet. Konar, yeah, it should be brought up to par with that, if not better, just to make the wielding more active. I personally ain't got a problem with that, considering that you're going to get PK'd and stuff. It probably, unless you're very good, maybe be the same, if not a little bit better than Konar Slayer. Like, that sounds good to me. Like, At just imagine moment. how. Imagine how active like the caves would be and stuff. Like For I've real. been doing Wildy Slayer on my account, dude, and it's not super busy, but I get PK'd. Like PKers always try to kill me. If every spot in there was filled, like that would be awesome. Like it really would. Well, yeah. yeah. For real. What if so Bounty Hunter or sorry, uh, Wilderness Slayer on a Bounty Hunter world had some sort of multiplier, so people would want to do it there because right now a lot of the people PKing and Bounty Hunter 
are either people with just range G mall or they're like people like me and amenity who go out teleport to your target and it's it just kind of makes you uh, hunt people like the hunter and hunted part. So what if there was both ways where they make decent money and then you could hunt them and if they anti PK, it'd be almost like the mini game, but in this world, in a sense. Yeah. If there was some sort of multiple, I don't know if you guys. Wait, can we up. uh can we just look back in retrospect to all these PVP stuff? So like, so like, what are all these different PVP things that are out there in the game currently? Like that is PVP, a like PVP worlds, shit. bounty hunter, <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, uh, regular PvP. wilderness. Regular uh, demo and... mode, like I, I swear there's more, right? Like, uh, Land Wars, LMS, PvP and... Worlds Blow. Do they talk about loading bag there? <clears throat> oh, yeah, do they really need to add one? So, so, wait, like, wait, about well, the, keys, the uh, the loot and bag in the PvP Worlds, yeah, so I said, yeah, yeah, dude, everything you can imagine, like that, we spoke about, like, dude, uh, we spent like a whole fucking day, like, every yeah. shitty thing that you can think with uh, PvP, which is annoying, it was brought up. Do you know, because we, we had, like, a lot of people there at PK all day, every day. Like, Torvester, for example. That dude has a lot to say on things that could be a lot easier and more enjoyable when it comes to PvP. Like, everything you can imagine, it was brought up. As small as, like, the uh, imbued rings being dropped. Okay. Instead of, as soon as Yo. they're dropped, becoming yeah. just a so, regular ring. You know? Everything. Rexy, I have a question for you, then. So, like, let's say everybody all right, that, that does any sort of PvP, they just kind of, people kind of just group them all together, right? But yeah. to be honest with you, don't you feel like even in the PK uh, PVP community, there are clearly people that only do a certain type of PVP and they're not going to switch to anywhere else, right? So <clears throat> so, so, what exactly, which PVP contents exactly are competing against each other and which PVP contents aren't, aren't really competing with each other, they have their own standalone community, right? I feel like knowing that is very important because a lot of people are saying, oh, if you uh, introduce... Uh, the PvP ELO system it'll uh, get in the way of the wilderness. Will it really though? You know what I'm saying? Like are these people in the wilderness actually the same people that are gonna compete in the ELO system, right? They're the people I feel the like, banks. I feel like know, knowing <laughs> more in depth like the nuances of your PvP community is more important because like I feel like everybody's just being grouped together and it, it's as if everyone is fighting for the same causes or whatever, but it's not the case, right? Yeah. I, I feel like P even in the PvP, there are people that are strictly loyal to a certain content, and they're not gonna move away, I, right? Uh, so, I mean, I don't feel like I can really answer that. That's a yeah, huge yeah, you question, can't. You know? Yeah, I'm not saying you need to an answer. I'm just saying, like, have they ever thought about trying to figure some stuff like that out, right? I out mean, for... they, they they wanted to know from us like what uh, data they wanted to, that we wanted to be researched that could potentially help them improve the game and stuff yeah. like that. Because you know? right now, I feel like a big issue is there isn't enough people that PvP is overall to space out among all these different PvP aspects, right? Yeah. I mean, that's my perception. I don't know. what. Uh, maybe there is an increase in P player base that are getting into PvP and they're trying out all sorts of content, right? But like, it's if you segregated. Yeah, yeah. So like, saying. if you keep introducing uh, more PvP uh, outlets then that will further divide the PvP community. But but in retrospect, we don't actually know which parts of the PvP community are like loyal to one thing or which parts are like, they'll just go so to whatever is popular. They need to figure out a way to upgrade, replace, because if they add new, it's just gonna take away. Yeah, yeah. Like we can't, you can't add new if you don't know that the, uh, it, it's, it's really, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, no, we get put you. into words. I think, but, I get you. Yeah. Okay, so like I mean, you can't really add new PvP stuff if you know based on the surveys and, and like sound data that you realize that it's actually just splitting up the community even more. Because then it'll just it'll just be another problem that, that people will complain about. It's like, oh this I mean, is not active. Okay, yeah. I kinda I kinda see what you're saying. Yeah. Um and like to be honest with you, I think PvP is just at the point now where it's like it's almost just like as it is right now it's kind of a lost fucking cause like we need yeah. to just kind of forget about the way pvp is right now and move into something which is completely different it's gonna like change it in a big way yeah. and I, I think like something that would help with that personally is they need something which is a very competitive b mm -hmm. very fun if we can get a mix yeah. of the two perfect but the way yeah. that things are currently it's just you know it's been the same since release oh. effectively with, with the occasional like rev cave 
release or like the uh the will yeah. rejuve and stuff like that i think wooks is barking up the right tree here then yeah um everything so would you involved. i mean i don't For pk real. right so so that's why i'm asking the question would you say it's important to just kind of maybe not add more like game more, more modes for pvp but more so just consolidate oh. into like two main things like uh for example right let, why don't we do elo system for very serious pvp like where everything's on the line like your your reputation your rank that's basically edgeville world 325. right <laughs> and then Double you have name, you have like the casual <laughs> side of the pvp where is uh wilderness uh whether you still incorporate the bounty hunter or not right it's like because because i feel like i don't know do we need more do we even need more things on top of that for pvp because it's like because yeah. it's LMS. like now you have like pvp worlds and then you know people want to go there and then people are trying to you know compete over there but there's not enough people in pvp worlds for them to really have a say but it's still a problem right so it's like there, there's just a yeah. lot of different outlets that that people want to voice over but they're just too small to of a community to really do anything for them right i don't yeah. know because I feel like an ELO system is inevitable, right? Like a very solid PvP ranking system and, and like a stage or whatever, right? For, yeah, for the PvP. I, I think <laughs> like to, to help PvP in this day is right now, like there's a lot of uh, quality of life updates that would help just like little things on the day-to-day -day basis that make the building more enjoyable. And also on top of that, having like a rank structure, a very competitive PvP scene, where it's not just a case of, you know, when you kill somebody, you get to tell them to sit. There's a lot more than that. Like, you actually gain really? elo and ranks and stuff. Like, that could have a yeah. very positive impact on PvP. But who knows? Like, we're not going to know until this stuff's actually rolled out, you know? I'm more and... scared about how the rank's going to work because the bounty yeah. hunter rank's yeah. not even working. I, I walked, was it Randy, right? Is rank one in bounty hunter uh, Let's be real. The bounty hunter rank system is garbage from what I've yeah. seen. I saw him People in the lever killing a person named Randy Jr. Okay, yeah. People boost that shit. I've seen it on Twitter. Shit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> name your cat no. like something else not randy jr well, come that, on bro it's <laughs> yeah that's the thing like there was like here here is an idea that came out of nowhere like the thing is we were taking ideas from all different kinds of games right like that's the thing a lot of us like i've played loads of different online games i've, played, legends? Every, I've played from like eve online league of legends world of warcraft guild yeah. wars like name an online game i've probably dabbled a bit because when runescape 3 was a thing i just quit runescape altogether right so there's a lot of good things you play that uh, some mopars some... <laughs> Every, who has who <laughs> hasn't played mopar man come on let's be real yeah. but, i um, tried to i couldn't get it to work so it but like work. something yeah i know it was scuffed back in the day but something <laughs> that was brought up and i believe it was uh Aiza that said it he was talking about uh like in world of warcraft you can queue up to go like this is just a random idea again it's in something that's solid in stone or anything like that but he was saying like in world of warcraft you could queue up for uh like the pvp tourney not not tour like just a pvp battle thing i don't know what it's called i never played enough wow to know what it was called but you could queue up for like a game of it and regardless of where you were in the game you'd then get like teleported in or like go into an instance where you'd be there and it was like well could they do that with runescape and realistically they could uh, they could do it where you had say an item in your inventory and you could queue up to like some sort of uh like a, a sit like a pvp fight or whatever and you'd go from whatever you're doing battlegrounds that's it the chat just said so like you'd be teleported into a battleground say like you're waiting for somebody to finish in a slayer spot or something you click the orb jump into a quick game of battlegrounds some sort of pvp tournament or whatever where you could gain something or maybe just do it for fun like just things like that you know it's like really thinking outside of the box and like so they that talk about the queuing fun. they actually they're thinking about the queuing because me and you know, rice and everybody we talk about the other podcast they're yeah. brilliant for lms but yeah, are yeah, they actually exactly. going to be doing the queuing thing because that gets me excited Dude, yeah that will help nothing, a lot nothing that i have spoken about to clarify <laughs> is is set in stone like i said these were just Damn wacky it. ideas we spoke about all the of it but is everything fantastic this, this stuff was all listened to written down and like you know it was taken in so yeah things are going to change and things are going to be done at least touch i mean wood. for sure yeah. it has to be very comprehensive you mean knock man. on wood because if you're touching yeah. wood bro i'm down <laughs> <laughs> hey it's touch wood here dude That's is it it is oh. yeah Ooh. All right. I think it. I think it's touch. No, it's definitely touch wood. Nah, it, it has. No, nah, it's touch wood, man. Wait, I don't know what kind this... of bars you go to, man. 
<laughs> touch some wood, boys. <laughs> where does where does the phrase "touch wood" come from? Yes. Oh, that you want to touch some wood, dude? <laughs> yeah, I think it originated like that. Touch wood, yeah. Okay, uh, Connor. And yeah. then they realize what happened, and they're like, "Okay, we'll change it to Nako." <laughs> yeah. But yeah, is it, uh, do you guys have any more questions? Anything to well, like the DMM well, PVP? You know, Seth, do you have anything? Uh, by the way, uh, I was been... thinking, like, just make it, make an arena, and then just put. You, you, it's like the dual arena. You, the you Hunger Games. Someone. Yeah, it's like uh, there were like private servers you used to play where you could just like pick your outfit. It's How like dare N you? Like NH, uh, Max, Main, Pure, and you would just be given like default like setup so you could just go pk right this was like when the game was dead obviously like no one was on like rs3 and yeah, so it. yeah like but the servers were so bad because the combat was shit and um you just go in you select your option you like no gmall but this would be a problem because it would devalue like yeah items. no it would make the ranking system even more diluted like everyone would just go in so. with the same gear or everyone yeah 1v1 same gear same comp yeah, nice. yeah um that. obviously it, there has to be value. standards right for the rankings to take place if we're gonna do yeah. an elo system right the, EO, the problem with the elo system is like are you gonna be facing like is it actually gonna work where you're like against someone with the same rank because people could always yeah. just smurf, like all okay. yeah. smurfs it's so easy to do that like, i mean for what, what about game? League like, of Legends, was... right? That that uses yeah. such systems. Is that it's smurfing? There, just, and there, it's have, there, would have to be, there, there would have to be a lot of people to play though. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You'd have to get that's, all the PKers on this. Like, that's why I'm saying like the whole queuing system, right? Because that would yeah. make it. Because because like I feel like no one wants to, I think it's gonna be in Karen, right? So the queuing system, you don't want to walk all over or tell. Yeah, yeah, Karen. exactly. Like, not all have that shit unlocked. Because I feel like PVP yeah. entry, like barrier to entry for anybody that's not a PVP already, it's, it's pretty yeah. damn high and um, like annoying, right? Like they just need, building like, uh, your stats, getting like just just getting educated to build your account. That's already jewelry, a, man. that's and already like off putting, <laughs> right? And then how many goals? All of that. All how many goals? All of that off putting. All of that stuff, I feel like, is going to be decided down the line. Yeah, it's exactly. just like, you know, let's get some ideas for like a bit of a foundation to mm -hmm. what we can build from. So yeah, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know about any of that stuff. But, yeah, exactly. I'm know, still kind of with the like infrastructure. Racing. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot to go over, right? So yeah, yeah. I I'm mean, still kind I, of I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not like a JMA. I don't do that stuff. It's up to them to really pitch yeah, in and like, do their shit. So or stat yeah <laughs> like, like, yeah like sorry like Rex, you said at the very beginning of all this like pvp is a lost like it's almost lost cause at this point like it really is like it's it's just not much you only do it for the views baby you know yeah like yeah for consecrated it used you know, to be booming like happy. back in the like chris archie days man that's all people yeah. would watch on youtube Dude, i wanted the community uh, channel I, to come back all i want for <laughs> pvp like what i want for pvp is i want something that is so competitive and fun i go to bed thinking about it i want something so yeah i want something so competitive and fun that i'm just like all right i'm on a, a the hundredth episode of this long-term series of mine but i'm just gonna <laughs> fucking cancel it and go straight and do this pvp Dude, that that's much the fun. dream you that is what i want yeah, yeah i want something yeah. that is yeah, that new series and that engaging like drop everything i'm just gonna quit doing fucking youtube and just be yeah. a pro fucking Dude, yeah, 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 that's yeah. new series road to um pvp runescape pvp professional right there i didn't yeah. i didn't make youtube videos then but that was me with last man standing man i got play that shit all day every day um, Dude, but what about the inventory and the banking and the selling item that's so aggravating? Dude, so I got shit. so good at it though. Like, I, I could like sell like four items in one screen, shit. Like, it, it, it was like really stupid though because learning curve is huge. And then when the high stakes rolled around, it was only the best players, like only the best players, like all these dead man mode tribrids and stuff. It, so it was kind of like a, you couldn't come as a new player. That's the problem with. I think RuneScape PvP in general is learning curve. Yeah, bar Barrett's PvP, entry is definitely. ridiculous. There right? isn't that newbie section of the game where everyone's mm -hmm. shit anymore. Like, it's just, like, two of those people, and then everyone else is, like, pretty decent. Like, there's still pretty shit people around 40 combat, like, G-Maulers. Like, I love those guys. I let yeah. one go the other day. I felt pretty nice about that. But then myself. you go to BH at, like, <laughs> level 70 to 80, and it's all these people burn no capes, and they're doing, like, tick dancing, and then they G-Maul you for, like, nine it's just like sick dude did they bring up lms during the during the thing because um yeah, it should yeah. be about prayer i feel like buying a yeah, shit yeah dude, you know all, you know all that stuff was covered man. Was, they're, they're thinking about... just like to summarize it what were the ideas for lms 
All right, so the two things I remember hearing that were like the big things were they were okay. going to drop it down from 25 <laughs> players to start the game to four, and they okay. were also going to start you off on yeah. full prayer so you didn't okay. have to flick. It wouldn't be wouldn't be about nice. that, which are two nice. big things, right? Oh, but the, tr crazy. the trouble is I didn't have much say in Last Man Standing because I've never played a game. Shamelessly, I can say that. I've never played a game. But... Yeah. Dude, the problem with Last Man Standing was just someone, someone could just attack you right after you got a kill. There needs to be a cooldown for like 30 seconds so you can sort all your shit for the next fight. Like Fair like yeah. Deadman mode, right? Someone could just attack you, but now you can't. Like so. And you wouldn't have enough runes, so if you wanted to do the hybrid combo, you'd have to be a god. Or you're just going yeah. range, tank, prayer flick with a random spec weapon, and that's pretty much meta. Yeah, and there should have also been like a machine where you could buy shit closer to the starting, just to the end area. Because usually the end area has no machines where you can so th there was a strategy where you'd literally take their best items, run to the gas like with keys, tank tens, and buy prayer and run back. Then you get frozen in the gas. Sometimes they're smart. So <laughs> there's some I'm next level it. strategy. Yeah, yeah, I've strategy. seen that. I've seen that. Dude, I love LMS hey, in a um, way where if you can play with so strategy, but I feel like there, play. I feel like there's a decent incentive to um, try to improve last minute standing, just because I feel like it's a good. Uh, testing ground for setting up a uh, a elo system in the future, like, yeah, yeah, like a queuing was... system yeah. and like how to distribute rank stuff like that. I mean, obviously, we're not you're not going to turn last minute standing into the actual PvP format, but it's just like you can uh, develop some of the infrastructure, the base, you know, a decent foundation, yeah. and then port it over so that you have something to start off with when you're making something as grand as like a, a actual pvp arena or whatever right yeah it's really hard i think it's more of like it honestly comes down like a business yeah. thing like when it, oh yeah 100 comes out yeah because when a rage 2 comes out it's like oh you got berzik and you put it on the cover of every single app yeah i mean they go hard right. with the pvp stuff. <laughs> what are you gonna do with they, the honestly they, like, yeah they go hard as fuck with that but uh put a guy with a rune 2 h on there <laughs> what yeah! you gonna, like, fucking just yell yeah, i mean like <laughs> bro pvp is probably one of the easiest things to market because you have so many youtubers that that are big on pvp they can exactly just do though, it for that's you the thing. yeah they can do that think, if they think want about to. the weaponry that's come out too in the game like exactly. how many of those weapons have been pvm related a lot Here i mean go. it's been like two it's an MMO, pvp so, weapons right yeah yeah i mean because like Mall, see, you know here's the beauty of the Dragon pvp Axis. arena right if they make it that you can make weapons that are specific to those places so that it only yeah. works there and that's it like, yeah they could do that, that because here's the deal right now you're currently designing weapons that serve so many different purposes that you can't fit it on one right like if you want to make a new weapon uh, PVMers have to have a say in it. PVPers have to have a say in it because you know yeah, it's the same weapon, right? So it sucks. Yeah. It's like it's like a conflict of interest, right? Because like not all good weapons designed for PVM are necessarily good weapons for PVP, right? For example, the blowpipe, right? They had to find ways around the blowpipe to make it yeah, that's work. A good point. So like yeah. if you do the PVP system, eventually you can have those weapons specifically designed for that place, so that when you you know start PVPking and you want some more builds or more variety whatever it, it could be there and you can't just yeah. use it anywhere else right because it's just yeah, strictly we'll designed for pvp purposes right if only they had yeah. some pvp j mods and we'd have some yeah. fucking backbone of this sadly yeah, yeah. yeah even like chris archie's doing hardcore iron man now like everyone's <laughs> oh, please. Like, hey enjoy Stop. it dude have fun <laughs> yeah, man. but that's what i'm saying just play the game like, iron man uh iron man tips 499 but there are no pkers <laughs> for j mods except uh mod jed rest in peace baby <laughs> <laughs> Mod Yen, and we have him right uh, here, dude. He's he's a uh, prison bless, Pete. He blesses now, me, dude. He blesses yeah, me. Bless him. Shall we move on to the uh the polls? Because I well, know well, that Reeves gonna one be one sec. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. One sec Don't here. Worry. All right. So we're the talking about PP we'll updates, but you did just meet literally almost every content creator. So I just have to yeah. ask a couple questions here. How much did Torvesta fuck with people? Um, not very much, dude. He just he he's like a meme machine, right? Did so... he like giggle and just like fucking take pictures and shit? And... <laughs> yeah, he probably has like a repository of fifty different pictures of every consecrator for for yeah, uh, Twitter likes. You know? I, I, I don't really know what to say, dude. Like he likes to take meme pictures, and that's pretty much like he's he's tweeting like all the time about stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I I was I was there just to like listen learn and just try to pitch in some ideas to each their own but yeah it's it's nice to see a huge ass content creator like not care about like just the shitty posts like on Twitter uh, and stuff. no I'm not I'm not saying that he didn't care 
Uh, I'm just saying, like, you know, he's very much into his Twitter game. No, no, like, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, like, he doesn't take it too seriously, which is, like, nice to see. Nice I don't think he like, takes friendly, too yeah. much seriously. He's a meme. He's a meme. Yeah, strong, he's, man. Yeah. Got the... Did he... He didn't grab, like, sick nerds nips? I mean, that'd be... I mean, he, dude, he was it. constantly taking pictures and recording the sick nerds. Oh. But, wow. uh, <laughs> you know, I this was just... coming up soon. <laughs> like, like, the thing is, like, it's... I don't know, maybe I'm just too fucking old for it. Like, when they're doing shit like that, I'm just like, well, I'm just gonna go hang with these people because they're going to a bar, and then to go get, like, drunk and discuss stuff. Like, that's just me, though. I'm just too fucking old, mate. I'm not gonna lie. But no, it was great. Like, all of the content creators, they all brought something, like, very individual and unique to the table. I was sat next to uh, the net creole himself, Mr. Solo Mission. Nah, fucking love that meme, dude. Man. It's so good. <laughs> His neck's a big one, mate. I'm not gonna lie. He's got I didn't even know he went, and I saw the picture and I saw forehead. Like, <laughs> hey, solo win. I fucking. Uh, no, that was. Uh, nice yeah, we're, we're just we're just jealous. Solo mission looks like uh, uh you know, for real. Calvin Klein model. Hell, bro. Okay? Except for that big old man. neck. Um, Come on, man. Y'all just. Did you go jealous. drinking with anybody? Was there any parties after parties? Uh, did you slap someone's yeah, ass? Social gatherings. Hit us up with stuff, that man. information. Uh, I was. Everyone else stayed for, I believe, three nights. Yeah, they had three nights in the hotel. I only stayed for one night because I, I just have a lot of stuff on at the moment. Uh, like I'm going to Italy like next weekend, so I want to like backlog a bunch of videos. But we did go out once. Um, and it was just it was good. Yeah, we just went to a bar and got kind of fucked up as pretty much it standard jagex invite out you just you know at night time you work standard hard during invite. the day what's that play hard at the night <laughs> like you know everyone standard invite dude, huh i guess we just a don't standard, know about that a standard folk. invite a standard invite <laughs> is effectively you know you discuss stuff during the day and then in the night you just enjoy yourself get, get a little bit wasted and... my boy over here living the life my man there we but go no, it, it was fun man it was, it was a good time it always is dude it's always a good time that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. That's nice if you guys have any more questions, I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. For real. Oh, I lo I love it, dude. It's so it's just like meeting everybody and seeing everybody again. It's, yeah, it's it's certainly it's uh, nice. It's certainly the right, uh, good step, you know, asking for some feedback. For yeah, it, like the thing, the truth feedback is, sure. like, it just makes you feel more connected with everybody and like a part of the community, I guess. Like that for me is the the big thing. Like it's just nice to be able to see like your friends and you know hang out like because we don't get to see each other all too often so it, it's nice when it happens you know and on top of that they also pay for our food which i fucking love mm -hmm. steak for days hey man you know that's awesome bro <laughs> yeah. you know you got jagex inviting you I to, need to go events eat. and stuff it's dope <laughs> yeah for sure but no, um, it was good yeah, i haven't eaten either but mm, whatever that's interesting someone says bring back the system oh uh, EP, we, we, and, we spoke about it it was spoken about. Everything that you can think of yeah, was spoken EP about. I, promise. I was thinking about like bringing the totems and shit to like give a chance of getting one PKing maybe. a target or something. But then the target farmers would be balling. Oh yeah, they they uh, I mean, you're talking about bounty hunter stuff, right? Yeah, they they can't add those drops to bounty. Yeah, hunter no, right now is problem with yeah. farming and shit. Yeah, no, you can't do the bounty hunter system like back then. People were yeah. were just fucking abusing. Those it emblem farmers are actually on timers. I was watching a couple yeah. debos are waiting in one spot, and what they do is they wait to get one of them as a target because they're it in one terrible. wilderness, and like eight people log in and like full Adam at level forty two, and they just sit there for like a minute killing each other, and yeah. they jump on them, and it's fucking so yeah. interesting to watch. Those are like people like living off it too, probably. Because oh, who's 100%. gonna do that? That For looks real. like it's some tedious work. Jeez. Do you think someone, those guys are connected said... to like the CC? Oh, go for it. Uh, someone just said eleven dollars for Rexy's steak. I knew, I knew that was coming, dude. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Bro, that that's some noobs like uh, membership for the for the month, dude. You know, it's like, alright, you want this guy's membership over here? Oh man, do you know what the saddest thing is? My taxi was outside as I got it, so I had to like fucking scoff it. I couldn't even enjoy it. That's the worst part, man. <laughs> you had to go. Man. I was in, I was in a mad rush. Yeah. Yes, yeah, for taking out. our problem, and rexy has got his uh his nice life problems. I know, right? <laughs> got his <laughs> steak to hit the tax. Man, yeah. Oh man. Feels kind of wish I lived in the UK, you know. <laughs> for real? Well, I don't know, man. Maybe <laughs> I would like to go visit. Kinda. Very least, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, let's Holes. hit up Rice's favorite topic here. Nah, it's not my favorite topic. I hate talking oh, about it. Is. I hate right, talking right, about listen. it. Let's, let's talk about the polls. Dude, man, we got, we got hosted during this podcast by Ian Spam. Okay, the man himself, pure Spam. 
I said to him, right, when I saw him, I said, look, it's the funniest thing. You guys probably know Rice Cap. He's like, yeah, I know who Rice Cap is. I said, he is, he is the nice. I said, he is the nicest, most <laughs> genuine guy ever. He's so chill. But holy shit, you bring up the polling <laughs> system and he loses his Don't fucking man, mind, man. dude. <laughs> Like, uh, okay, I love let, your rage about it. Let, let's it's just so say good. I'm slightly passionate because I feel like it's so <laughs> detrimental to the game, right? It's like, yo, man, yo, you're trying to kill the game again, you know? Stop, stop it, man. You know, whatever. But yeah. Yeah, they got to play rice out there, man. For uh, the nah, game. honestly, just do a Discord call, dude. I'm PBM, fine with PBM meetup, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, just just put me on a Discord call. Don't fly my ass over there. It's too expensive, you know? Yeah, you don't need to have a chalkboard, dude. <laughs> they should do more Discord calls, to be honest. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, hey, guys, we have online t chat, and I can face, you know what I mean? Have my face. We can yeah, pull exactly. up uh, blogs, some ideas, videos. Like, it's crazy. Why don't, they could, they could even yeah, do they should just do that. I just looked at it. I'm like, right, I've not, I've not read this, by the way. So yeah, okay. fill me in. What, what is this? I probably know what it is, but. All right. Uh, okay. So TLDR, I read most of it, but basically they're saying they're gonna try out hiding poles. See what I mean by that is they're not gonna go ahead with it right away, like the full on, just do it from now on. They're gonna do a testing part where basically they're gonna see how it goes, and and if it goes well in their favor, I guess they'll keep it. This is you know implied, right? Obviously. If yeah. it doesn't go well, I guess they're gonna scrap it, and we're gonna go back to the, sh you know, what the does it mean go well? That we have like less, do less votes or something. Um, I oh. would, I don't know exactly, but I would assume going well in their favor as a company, right? Like, well, uh, I, I assume, oh, yeah, yeah. So, be, so I, th I thought you meant like it would be like one poll yeah. thing, so they have to be do um, it for like a year or something. So, okay, where? Oh no, no this isn't the right the page. Results. Hold on, let me let me go to the results. right. Yeah, let me go to the right page. <laughs> Hiding poll results. So they said that um, they're gonna do a test where, let me find You wanna it. read the proposal right there, actually? They have it right there. Um, I mean, we, I can read the whole thing because I feel like what they Damn, finally right, told Morgan you Freeman, the truth. It, they finally <laughs> told you the truth, okay? So, hiding poll results. In this blog, we talk about our intentions for polling and specifically hiding of the poll results. Polling is a fundamental part of what makes Old School RuneScape great. Old School is very existent with decided by a poll back in February 2013. And in the six years that follow, polling has been pivotal in shaping our game. However, as we've alluded to previously, um, it's clearly that the current system isn't working for the vast majority of the old school community. Content which, will, which could benefit smaller groups of players often suffer in polls, despite the fact that it would have minimal impact on the wider player base. Plus, only a very small number of players are actively forwarding. Despite the community growing Huge over the past 18 months, this means that a small proportion of our communities define the content for the majority of our players. This was not polling's original intention, but we don't think it's a sustainable way for decisions to be made in the long run. The reasons for this are complex. As mentioned in the previous blog, we wanted to explore hiding poll results as part of a wider initiative designed to tap into providing the exact content that you want. This is a long-term project that requires extensive research, but you've made it clear that we needed to make more immediate changes. Here is our proposal. Old School RuneScape has operated with visible poll results for its entire life. We've been hesitant to hide poll results for many reasons. They're actually speaking like, you know, they're actually telling you the truth now. Chief among them being the uncertainty as in relation to new content, which understandably is a very sensitive subject. This new content has been crucial in both attracting new players and engaging our current players. To put it candidly, we don't know what will happen when poll results are hidden. We tried to adopt a scientific approach to testing and predicting the impact, but ultimately we have concluded that the only way we can test this by actually hiding pro results in the live game. While I we... love that like every time they talk about a certain update coming out, they do like extensive research and marketing. I'm like, how extensive can this shit really be though? For real. Like they have scientists in the Jagex labs or some shit doing this? I had a question about the polling, like yeah. Sometimes it seems as if they've made an entire piece of content before the polls even out, and I'm yeah. like, what if none of it passes? Like, that's, they that's must why rig they... it because they freaking have like the, all this work done, and like, are they exactly. just gonna not bring out the update? Yeah, no, that's why they try like, to the clue boss. Yeah, 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 that's why they try very hard to influence people to vote for it, whether it's like, rewarding it or repolling it a second time, right, a week after. So yeah, like they already had yeah. Vesta made, like they pulled it and they, I like they already had it obviously they already coded it and they wanted to bring it out so they fell back i guess on dead man mode because they mm -hmm. obviously couldn't bring it to live game because yeah. the hold didn't pass but like i feel like they should pull something first then develop it like 
not be the really smarter around. move. Did the yeah. chest monster tongue thing? Did that get pulled? That, yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. I feel like that's sure. already made too. It did. Yeah, it is. Okay. It is already made. Yeah. What if it doesn't pass? Like I wouldn't be surprised if it was passed. Or oh, it hasn't like, been pulled, pulled yet. Well, see, that's um. I yeah, I think yeah. we should finish reading this first, and then we can get into the into like yeah, our speculation, true, yeah, yeah. right? While we're committed to longer research into how to how best to assess the potential appeal of new content in the shorter term, we have to ensure that we regularly release content that is certain or likely to appeal to the majority of the player base. Ah, uh, that's a big one right here ensure that means they have they have their own personal agenda of course conflict of interest right there this is essential for the health of old school any risks to that vision has taken is to be taken with serious consideration with all of the above in mind we'd like to announce that we'll be hiding poll results from friday april 12th the results of the poll on that day will be hidden in game until it has concluded at which they will become visible the web page results will also be hidden until the poll has concluded on Thursday, following the game update, you'll be unable to access the poll booth. This is to allow us to test the poll, poll booth changes. We'll be monitoring the impact of, uh, this change has on polling over the first few months, both in terms of participation and voting percentages. We'll uh, assess our next steps from there. There's more we'd like to do, too. We've discussed making polls more visible or more accessible, and that seems to be something you support. Ideas you've suggested include allowing you to vote directly upon login, adding a vote button to account management tab, and offering more than one reminder that a vote is live. We welcome any suggestions you may have. As ever, appreciate your help getting us to this point. We hope this is a suitable solution that works with both ourselves as a development team and you, our players. Okay. I'm scared we're gonna get spammed on login. We already have one thing that pops up. Yeah. Imagine like a fucking yeah. 40 things pop up when you log in you gotta exit out of all of them like it's a goddamn yeah, like, um, page. Like cosmetic or something i mean personally I mean, I, yeah yeah it's good that they're listening like yeah. that's been a huge issue for like a long time right having the poll results on the on the screen on the polls like the fact that they're actually changing that at least they're giving it a shot see how it goes i think like the main concern for them and i did say this was like i the only reason i can understand why you guys want the poll results to be shown is because you guys are aware that people have a very sheepish mentality where Everybody if they see does. something that's passing, they're going to click pass because in the grand scheme of it, you can't really change it. So that makes things actually pass. Whereas if it's completely like taking a shot in the dark, it might literally just be 50-50. Yeah, um, let, let me use an example, right? So a long time ago when um, people were more conservative, what I mean by that is they were still very scared of updates because... You know, old school is still new and yeah, when and it's GE fragile, would come right? in and they'd be like screaming. Yeah. So um, so let yeah. let's talk about when the spirit shields were being proposed for the first time. I remember, um, they had to go through like two different renditions of of pulling it because people were just so conflicted on whether or not it would you know they won in the game and it was still a seventy five percent threshold, right? So I think the first time it was like it, it was, I think just all the spirit shields. And then it didn't pass, and then they separated it in, into everything, and then the vine was by itself, right? So the vine obviously didn't pass. And then the, the three that were grouped together almost didn't pass. But you know what happened? I remember Spark Mac went on a crusade on YouTube. And I mean, I mean he was he's still, you know what I mean? Back then especially, he was like the biggest YouTuber, right? Outside of like a friend or something. And I remember he had like a whole crusade of like telling people, please vote for this so it can pass. Because you know why? He sees it. He sees that it was at like 70%. Yeah. Yes, and guess what? Yes, yes. Guess what? He had his viewer base help him, right? Yeah, he, because he yeah. saw it. He that strategically told people, you need yeah. to get this to work. I was, yeah. You yeah, remember? Yeah, right? We were so close, but didn't pass something. Yeah. Or did we get it passed? And we did. We did. It was yeah, literally, I, I think we passed like by like 2%. The day that video dropped. Yeah. Or something. Uh, yeah. That's, yeah but that's, that's so dumb. I remember. Okay, so you guys know who Kids PK is, right? Kind of. Mm, kind of, kind of. Yeah. So he used idea. to have a bigger following on Twitch than he does now. And back when they were proposing a uh, fire, fire cape for melee, mage, and range, yeah, I remember he that. didn't want to go ahead and get a fire cape on his peer again. So anyone who came into his chat, he like banned them if they talked about it, or he just promoted to vote no to that update. And I swear, it was like the most tiniest sliver from almost passing, and it didn't. <clears throat> And it's so it's so fucked that people can just make changes like that and just control their people's opinions because they you know sheeple right everybody's a sheep bro we, well that's I the mean, thing like that's what i said sheep. like when it came exactly. to hiding the poll results i was like look i was like if you guys want to tackle people like that who are you know 
the way I see it is like, imagine there's like a massive vote that's going on in your country, like politics. I don't want to get into it. But imagine there's like a group of people outside that have like fucking banners and they're like, blah, blah. That's the way I see like these idiots that do it on here. And I got no time for it whatsoever. Idiots, not interested. But um, like, yeah, if they hide the poll results, it's like the thing is, if the poll result is there, it's like they can track their progress. Exactly. Do you know what they I mean? Can Whereas if it's, if it's not there, it should discourage that and people won't be doing it as much. Although I may be wrong, it might be the complete opposite, but that's what yeah, I'd it assume could would happen. Yeah. Be the opposite where it's like, now you can't see the results. So people don't vote no if they don't want it because they're like, well, we don't know. And then someone goes, hey, you should vote yes for this. And all of a sudden, you'll pass. Hey, um, so you know what? I find this post very compelling because for a long time, Jagex actually hit their personal agenda but in this in this uh page they actually clearly told you that we want updates to pass did you get that right did you get that when they yeah. actually wrote that right because before they would not say anything about that so there's clearly a conflict of interest and the way that they're wording it they didn't they didn't word it cleverly this time because it's very easy to tell that what the the way that they said they're gonna test it and monitoring it for the first few months yeah. It's clear. It's evident that they're only going to keep it if it's actually still gonna allow nice catch. most but things. Would to you pass. do you not agree that it's a good thing they're being transparent with that? Yeah, no. I, I mean, they, yes, exactly. I've I've been waiting okay. for them to be transparent. It's been years. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's why I'm saying it's compelling because we finally hear like ninety percent of the truth, right? Like the other ten yes. percent is probably corporate, which is like money involvement, right? Like let's say if if this is detriment to our financials, we probably won't won't do it anymore. I mean, I, I fine. Like, I get guys, that, right? I get You that, guys right. can take this with like a grain of salt yeah. or whatever. Like, you know, however you say, you don't have to believe me. But like for me and the like the, the guys that work at Jagex and like just yeah. recently, like yesterday, like I can honestly say that they do have the game's best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. And like you know, I don't think they're hiding shit. It's not a case of that. Like, it's yeah, yeah, a case yeah. of, there's a lot of conspiracy theories and yeah. shit out there for this, that, and whatever. And if anything ever goes wrong in game, like a small bug or a big bug, it's already pointed at, like, oh my god, it's like mod jet yeah. B2 and stuff like that. When the truth is, like, mistakes just happen. Like, yeah. look at the old school team over the last, like, three months. They have so many new mods, so many new guys, so many new devs, etc. Like... Mistakes will happen. People will fuck up. Yeah, and it's just the way it works. So, you know? so I Rixie, I um, I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying like the J mods are in the wrong for doing this. Um, I'm just like obviously it, I'm not blaming like Von Ash or anybody for like the way that they they try to word how, how, why they're defending the polling system the way it is. Um, obviously there's there's like top management right. The the people that only care about financials and they're not gonna care about exactly on a one-on-one -on -one basis you as a viewer versus them as like someone that's just trying to make money right so like, obviously the the people the development side of things they're they're people that are really passionate about the game they obviously want people to enjoy the game and obviously we're not gonna blame those guys right because they don't really make those decisions about how they go about their business right but uh, i feel like people like mom matt k he's the product manager right so he definitely has ties with the top management brass because they have oh, to yeah he's like the he's got, yeah he's the middleman right so at the end of the day, he also has to have some input on how um, the updates, you know, the, the things that they say are interpreted. And this is very evident that there's definitely some corporate aspects that that is, you know, being I feel like maybe lingered not corporate onto this. aspects because I'll challenge this, right? Yeah, challenge so it. Yeah, go ahead. Pretty much, you said the JMOTs have the best interest, but if they're like uh, Rexy said that, and I believe in their case they do, they love the game. But if you work on something, right, and you have an idea and you want to change the game, because you ever you never join oh, yeah, something sure, not to sure. change it, right? You want uh, your impact to be there. It's like, oh, I created that. Or, so they want these things in the game, and to the point where they're gonna see, oh, is the polling system gonna get these into the into the game, right? Because if I'm gonna work on something, I don't want it to be voted no. And that's right. kind of the problem is. Yeah, you that's even probably, have a yeah, yeah, true. I agree. I that, think you hit the nail on the 100%. head, though, dude. I think you're right. Yeah. I think that probably is. I don't think it's like you know some corporate. Oh no! The um, scenes so I, I like, feel that like sounds right. I feel like you. They're not. They don't go against each other. You know what I'm saying? Because because like sure. I I mean, if some of the mods want to influence it, they will, right? The things that they say on Twitter will be evident of that, right? And how they reply to people when they def when they are defending a certain content that is being pulled. Um, they love the there's, reply. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So so that doesn't 
take away from the fact that at the end of the day is a business and updates are core part a core function of how the business operates so there's definitely going to be some sort of management from the financial department right like, like the financial side of things like the ceos right the people that are investing they're definitely going to have some say right because like i feel like the polling system they get into the say of like petty small updates it's oh yeah yeah like, yeah gonna raise sure, the bond sure, price yeah. or the dollar i think that's more of where yeah they but I'm, I'm saying like the j mods are aware though you know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, they're, they're well, aware that, that, the that at the course. end of the day that they got to make money and they got to satisfy the people that are investing in their game right that owns the game so i mean if i can chip in from yeah, spending the last few days with them and meeting some people yeah in the old school team that were very high up uh I'd maybe, say maybe the, not the development side you know like mod mad k side oh uh, so. yeah if not higher yeah. um like those people uh like their their biggest like corporate touch yeah, if you'd say that, so like right. if you wanted to word it like that yeah would literally be a case of how do we get more players to enjoy the game like that's as far as it goes like yeah. it really isn't much deeper than that and then obviously above them i'm sure there is whatever uh, in terms yeah, of business, yeah. mm -hmm. you know but that's as far as it went it's literally it's really in terms of like thing. in terms of a corporate side it's just like you know how do we get people to keep playing the game and how do we get new players and we were also told uh that microtransactions will never come into old school right like a very high up dude so i'm very okay. happy with that so let, let's let's just Damn. not talk about the corporate side of things right because we, we're making a lot of assumptions here so i'm not going to stretch any further but yeah. but the thing is is that there is definitely an alternative motive with how they're wording the way that they're wording you know the, the topic of poll results right they're, they're not upfront about it. they've never been upfront about it this is the only time in a few years that whenever they mention the poll results that they've been upfront about it right they personally said we want updates to come out to the game and if this new change is detrimental to us then implying right by, by the way that they're saying they're testing it for a certain period if it doesn't work out for them I'll, I'll finish off the sentence that they were supposed to finish. If it doesn't work out for them, they're not going to implement it the right way. They're going to go back to the original, right? Which is make everything visible 75%. Passes. If it passes, it passes. If it doesn't, it doesn't, right? Which obviously, you know, we've already talked about all the flaws of that, right? So, so I, I'm glad that they're actually like telling us now because I feel like they've already hit rock bottom with, with, with when it comes to the poll results. So, but yeah. I, I'm just... I just don't like the fact that they want to test it. I mean, go ahead and test it, right? But at the end of the day, it's like this should be it a change. It seems a little bit sketchy. Yeah, yeah. this like, this oh, should let me happen. Just see how this works. This you should know? And then... happen no matter what. We shouldn't be able to see poll results no matter what until the very end, right? When okay. we finish the result. Yeah, that's why I was like, what do they mean by test? <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Right? I mean, Let's I, I guess put stuff shit aside. Pass, put yeah. stuff aside, right? They, they want to see if stuff passes right if they hide the yeah. poll results, which let's be real, like we, we can all sit here and say that's sketchy, but I think realistically, say they hide the poll results, next year nothing passes. Like, Well, if they're going to hide it, they to have pass. to do some like, I'm not, research I'm, they do, right, and see if they got to lower the percentage. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, that's, what that's what I was about to say. I, I don't think they should ever unhide the poll results. Exactly. Uh, but obviously right. if it doesn't work, then they should start to... Um, lower whatever the passing mm -hmm. vote is mm -hmm. because you're 100 percent right I, I agree with you really like you know you should never be able to see the percentage of the passing vote like exactly. you shouldn't be able to yeah just i agree maybe, with you on that. they could like do a hybrid where it's like for big ass content updates you just do like a high, hidden one and then for life like small stuff it's not hidden or like the other way around but like i just don't see why yeah again just right hide them all like, exactly so what you're saying yeah exactly. if it's a we huge <laughs> game impacting update show the damn results so we don't get something dumb in the game right but if it's smaller yeah, yeah. that affects a small community we, we don't want it biased right well yeah. i feel like we shouldn't be so lenient i i feel like we should always hide poll results for any anything that's going to the polls should be hidden right because it's up to jagex i mean ultimately jagex often makes decisions that doesn't rely on the polls right they'll do changes that could arguably should have been polled but they they won't actually pull it right they'll just it's release just like it. like yeah it's so just no at, one's gonna vote yes it yeah. has mm -hmm. should they add a new hair dye to the yeah so hair barber shop and then so, all of a sudden, here's a pub in fucking lumbridge you know <laughs> yeah exactly right hey. that's what i'm saying that's so it's like man it's not like you guys are even 
doing the poll results justice anyways is because you don't even poll everything that comes in a game anyways. So if you're going to do it legit, do the poll results legit by hiding whatever it is that you're polling, right? And make it more consistent with with how you want to put out updates because it's either you, you do it yourself, right? With feedback or you use the polling system because right now they're, they're just picking and choosing. If if they want an update that is a hundred percent something that they want to just put in, they'll put it in. They don't they don't use the poll results for that, right? They'll put in that pub in Lumbridge and not give a shit about whether or not they should pull it, right? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like pick one. If you're gonna if you're gonna use the poll results, use the poll results and do yeah, but do like it right. 100%, 100%, but do it right. Exactly. Then, or, yeah. Don't don't just like fifty fifty. Exactly. Example. Yeah. Please don't Sometimes be wishy. They don't even tell you what the hell happens. And yeah. It's just like your mm -hmm. decision. Exactly. Now, I had an idea a while yeah. ago for the polling, and of course, if it worked for hidden results, that'd be perfect. Yeah. But these niche updates aren't going to hit 75%, whether it's hidden or not. So what they could do is for certain polls that are very niche, you could go under my account is a PVMer, my account's a PKer, my account's a skiller, or maybe you're just everything, right? Because some people, they only PK. Some people, they only skill, right? And then say if your update belongs in a PVP category, when you vote for that, if you're PK, or you'll get more of a vote than people who skill because mm. it affects you. Yeah, um, yeah I think that would that cause a lot of bias. Complicated issue. Isn't I it? think that would yeah, cause a lot of bias. Yeah. You, could, you could also do like um, if you're doing bounty hunter changes, it's like it's not hard to track if your account has any score in rogue or hunter, right? Like, There'd yes. be a requirement, right? Mm -hmm. There'd just be a make it so you need at least like a kill or something. In yeah. Bounty hunter, um, like one target yeah so personally i i've talked about this before so i might be being a dead horse because remember how i talked how we talked about i feel like the polling system shouldn't be the way it is anyways like even if they hide the poll results it shouldn't be about an, uh, a percentage that will determine whether or not an update comes out or not i feel like the the poll results should really just be about a feedback right a feedback loop you give you give jagex an idea of what people want right so like right now, 75%, it's just a random number that Jag is thought up of, right? It could have been 59%, it could have been 65%, right? It could have been any of those, right? Or it could just be 50%, right? Probably something to do with the grading in UK, 75 or overs pass. I, I don't know. I feel like that's just random as hell. I don't, I don't, I don't think that that uh, has anything to do with like a... Free force know. population. Yeah. Um, so I feel like there shouldn't really be a percentage that determines whether something passes or not. Like, even if you have the poll results, right, it shouldn't be 75% that will determine that's a pass or no, right? Because then you see at the end it, whether it is. I feel like it, it shouldn't, there shouldn't be a, a threshold at all. It should just show you percent of yes or no would... or abstain. And then from that a perspective, Jagex will see, will gather the data and make decisions on their own. Because right, yeah. now, it's, because right now it's so inconsistent. Right, like I said, either they use the polling system for some things they want in the game, or they just put the get put it in the game, regardless of they putting it in the system uh, in the polling system or not. So yeah. if they were, it already defeats the purpose the, the voting, way they're doing it. Right, and they yeah. can actually see what accounts vote if they're bots, if you have a total level, if you have PKs. They can track all that information. So you kind of have my idea and then your idea clashing, right? And it would actually work really well. Say if it's a PVP update and they see that it passed, maybe not by what they'd want it they go okay who voted it's like oh skillers yeah. voted no against that you know a lot of these guys they could take in consideration the data which is what you said that'd be that'd be nice so look someone just said in the chat do you think the old school community is a bit spoiled and i have to say yes dude. Oh, people yeah, are so sure. entitled man it's it's beyond the joke at this point jagex should take the reins that's my oh, yeah, opinion sure. yeah might be unpopular whatever like they just need to take the reins on what they know will do good and i think they just roll with it you know yeah landscapers like, are spoiled all right clients yeah. updates etc yeah. but we also we, go we through update. a lot of shit bad bad worlds fucking bugs that last way too long in a goddamn <laughs> game that makes over like yeah, 80 mil true. gross yeah. profit a year i mean like, come on man or more clients that, are but... giving us quality of life updates yeah so like i think the Back only the big flaw that that kind of brought about some really bad updates in the past is that Jagex didn't have any feedback in the past. Like, adequate Maybe. feedback, right? And now they have too much. <laughs> Possibly. But, yeah, um, no, you're, but at the same time, right. yeah. 
So, so like right now, we have too much feedback, perhaps, or maybe too much noise, and we don't, you don't know what real, what the real substantial feedback is, right? It, do, do you know, do you exactly. know how I, do you know how I, uh, a really fucking funny way of viewing yeah. Jagex is right now? Someone just said in the chat, we're spoiled because they lost 90% of us with VOC, okay? And that instantly just gave me an image of this. Yeah. It's like, imagine a married couple, the husband cheats on the wife, right? <laughs> and then the wife keeps him on the, the tightest fucking lead forever yeah. okay like that ain't gonna work out there yeah, needs yeah. to be trust or Balance. that isn't gonna fucking work there needs I to be like a... there is seriously trust, though for real like well, well, the thing trust. is i it's i know that trust. i know that eoc and i completely agree with the guy that said that in the chat yeah. they did not listen to us they and did they did not. what they wanted for the game and it turned into runescape free it sucked but we can't continue to punish them for their previous mistakes when they have proven to do good stuff like they have I think they just need the freedom to be able to push some stuff out. And you know what? I think so long as there was a promise from Jagex, which was effectively, look, we are going to take more control yeah. over the updates that come out and have more of a say. And we promise if we release something which clearly is fucking up the game or people don't like it, we'll sort it or we'll remove it. Yeah. I'd be more than happy with that. More than happy. So I, I agree in that sense. Yeah. But to say that we have RuneScape on a leash, I believe is just... Not true. Not really. For true. real, because every every day memo tournament, something's gone wrong, but people still play it. Uh, every update that hasn't gone right, people still play the game. The servers were bad. The, the CC bugs, there's all these bugs that come up, but we still play the game. The numbers aren't changed. We're growing. It's, it, it feels like we have a lot of trust in that. And if people don't have trust in Jagex, they're just the loud, obnoxious people on Reddit who are literally going to play anyways, right? Yeah. So, like, th just think of a hypothetical situation where, uh, like, the idea of pitch where basically the polling system instead of it 100 percent determining whether or not the update comes out or not based on 75 percent you will you will still vote you'll still get you know you'll still get your same format yes or no abstain right and then once the the poll result is over you get to see the result right and then based on that i feel like jagex should make the decisions on those updates right so like let's say something's like 70 percent jagex should still have the leeway to say okay you know what this update should come out or not come out right because yeah. that way you still have a chance because you know finally we'll, we'll have input from jagex themselves to like reasonably like sort it out and because think about it this way right what, what if something like 50 percent um after the result is is passing right or like jagex decides to promote it and make it happen but the thing is you and you now actually have a a number to argue off of right so like if something that's forty percent, um, is is uh, Jagex is uh, introducing something that was forty percent on the yes, then you you can have a lot to talk about, right? You'll be like, okay, um, actually we we don't believe you should do that because look, if forty percent of the people voted yes, only six only forty percent, so then you can yeah. argue with them that they shouldn't have it, right? Because like right now, too much arguing on Reddit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't know. Right now it's like seventy five percent yes or no, right? And then everybody sees the results. They just it comes out. It's not. It's not really. It's not really realistic. That effective. Okay. So, like yeah. just to clarify on my point on allowing Jagex yeah. to take control of the reins, I'm specifically talking about contest things that definitely need improving. Okay, yeah. such as PvP, for example. But um. Yeah, I think that we've we've spoken a great deal on this today. Uh, do you guys want to wrap it up? What are you guys thinking? Unless you have, yeah. well, I mean, I have no. Let's hit my boy stat about. up. All right, I got a couple yeah. more questions, my man. So I just well, had first to make, uh, put on that. So yeah, it's like it's this game is like it's when something's out, it's out. It's like you yeah. can't bring it, like it's like in League of Legends. You come out with a hero, you don't pull the hero, right? You show mm -hmm. what it does, you come out, and then you change it based off what the community says, right? It's like you can't yeah. just bring something out, roll back the game, and say that didn't work right mm -hmm. it's so hard for them I, I feel like it's just yeah i mean yeah. winter Child was a good example because i remember exactly. the first week like it was crazy they it was with too Zora, dude they yeah, changed up boss like five times like yeah i mean people still like, do it it was too late <laughs> it was still exactly. doing i don't i don't really yeah. like that either it just hurts it it's just like, hurts it. was... yeah sorry it's just it's just runescape it's just what it is like we just have to deal with it and it's yeah. gonna be difficult as hell to like please every single player like it's just i feel like the whole updates i don't even know man it's just like a toss-up like it could go either direction but like what you were saying with like the sum updates like 70 percent you should like they have the rain there that sounds yeah. pretty good to me yeah like 
I'm glad that we can agree on that. I, mm -hmm. I personally agree too, with my own point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we kind of haven't been joining Stat in the conversation too much. I think we've been kind of saying, because listening. there's, there's yeah. so much to cover mm -hmm. on this video, yeah. for real. Like it's So, I'll, I got some more questions. Let's get some more questions at Stat here. We got them. Mm -hmm. Let's use them, all right? <laughs> so, how do you come up with your goddamn videos? <laughs> like which one specifically the the There's ones that get ads. hundreds of billions of views my yeah. dude those are mm. so easy to click on um let's see um i look so a lot of it's like just looking at like what other players do in the game and i'm like why are you doing this so a, a good example was um like taking junk for example uh i clickbait that video shit but <laughs> <laughs> this because someone put up like max gear in the trade and i put a question mark <laughs> <laughs> but like you gotta do what you gotta do when you have like four yeah things. i mean it's so clickable man. so yeah um, but so, like for, so. i'm like why would people just spam taking junk right? like and then i tried it and i'm like okay so you make like 800k from the hour and it's like oh okay so this is why people do it or like these bots selling jokes right or there's like actual players doing this and it's like, why are people doing this? I, I just like, I, I just see something and I'm like, why are people doing it? So I test it out and just record it and see what happens, put it out. And so, then I just get so involved funny way. You get inspiration from people in game, like through. Yeah. Just, like, like there's been two around. videos where I haven't, one was from a friend. He like start like way back. He did like the one GP thing in Barak like, way yeah. back. He did this one GP challenge and then Goody did something similar at the GE. Like, I was doing a lot of GE videos where, like, I would just sit at the GE and do some, like, random shit. Like, I did selling weed. I'd put up, like, weed. <laughs> I saw that, like, like I said, I saw that person doing that. Um, <laughs> this one was so Inspired stupid. you? I did Dude, I'm going down the wrong path, man. <laughs> Fucking Elmo Goody rocking, what, 500k views on the salmon video? Yeah, it has a million, actually. It has a million. Fuck it. That's great. It's, like, creative yeah. thinking outside yeah. the box. I like so, yeah, this. One of, I, you know, I did videos. selling logs or something literally the same like, i just wanted to see if i could beat what he made and see if it was like actually like a thing um and yeah people just hand you money in this game <laughs> i don't know what yeah. to say like it was money like, isn't hard it... to come by <laughs> this game community is very yeah. giving the trolls yeah. at the top of the line yeah they're shit but most people in this game are really chill yeah and then i just started doing more of like pvp slash um like starting with one item and every kill you you upgrade like you you get an item basically so i don't know what that idea was that was just random i started with just ags but like inventory of food and runes right but like just ags and i had to get a kill like so i had to basically one take venge but that was like the dumbest clip the way i got the first kill i tanked like a G gmall on a five or something um and i did that with range where i just started with like a debo i don't even remember i started with just a blowpipe but it was really easy because it was pures and stuff um I'm trying to honestly look back at some of the bits I did because I don't even remember. How, how did you think of the mobile app review? Because that was brilliant. Oh, right. right. Dude, so I saw all these out. Reddit posts, right? I saw all these Reddit posts. And um, I was like, why not just compile these? And then I had to go out and find a bunch, right? Um, to make it like a decent length. 10 minutes, by the way. And then, <laughs> uh, and then I can just compiled it. And I was like, I could read these out, but like it wouldn't have the full effect if i read them out i wanted music playing in the background so i just put the robot voice on um and i did that for like a bunch of vids before like selling jokes and stuff it had the robot voice um i saw that from like i saw that from torvesta like back in the day like pk videos he still does it i think um he would just have the robot voice on like random clips and it was funny as hell uh but yeah that was like a mobile yeah, it was. It's because the mobile searches were so high at that point that like. Yeah, it was. It was definitely. I just thought it was a funny video to do for the time. Um, <laughs> all these people just don't know what they're doing in art. It was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Your videos, like, they're refreshing because in RuneScape you have progress videos, PK and videos. Yeah, guides, it was a niche. It was right? a niche for sure because like, no one's going around like recording themselves doing something this dumb like uh, <laughs> I don't know. like uh i've looted i've done a looting video in pretty much everywhere you could pop like i looted freaking winter todd for an hour i looted it like uh, yeah but hey nobody I does it so drops right and i looted um zmi altar i made like 20k in an hour and i was like 
All right, guy. <laughs> this is terrible. Man, it's, it's got so <laughs> many dislikes, bro. That was hey, really but people watch video. it. Oh, you got their view though. And then and then I try to look for Easy. something different, like yeah. the wyvern running thing, where like you'd run wyvern supplies. I was, yeah. I saw the CC being advertised. I was like, what the hell is this? So I tried it, and it's actually really good money. Like you buy, uh, you guys know how wyvern running work? Yeah. I mean, uh, you run supplies, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah, you buy their stuff for like 40% less and sell it on the GE just so they get free inventory and you bring them pots and stuff. So okay. they can stay there forever, right? That's brilliant. Uh, That's fucking brilliant. And then there's this, there's one I did bone running. Like you run people bones at POHs and they, like I charge them really, really small just to get a video out because you actually have to find someone trusted and then they pay you 500k an hour to just run bones so they get the best prairie XP per hour. Dude, the bet, why don't you run ZMI, dude? That's like free yeah, for yeah, an hour. Yeah, I was thinking of doing a running like root crafting one, um, but I never got around to it. I mean, you, should, you should do it, man. That's like crazy good money. Yeah, like, I didn't even know what running good. ZMI was. I don't um, even know what it is. I'm not into root crafting at all, so like I don't meta. Rune crafting right now. The only it, thing I've it, seen is like automology. Uh, yeah. I mean, you just give people pure essence as EMI. And you they can, give you like money back? A bond yeah, an hour. It's three mil an hour. So. It's a bond an hour. What the no, fuck? Yeah, yeah. It's, people, three mil, it's three mil an hour. Yeah, people will pay hour, you right? three mil an hour. Free bond ZMI running. I can see it. What's I can see EXP it right now. Like, what's the um, you can get it like close to over 150k an hour. No. In runecrafting. In runecraft. That's yeah, why yeah. it's so that's, good. Because yeah. what teleports you, do you use though? Like Castle Wars and Oh no, no you just, yeah. you just, you just run use back and forth yeah. from the yeah. bank and set them on. Yeah, yeah. You just yeah, you oh, oh, there's a dude there, right? Yeah. 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 There's a bank there. Uh, yeah, you just need like, stamina pots and you know, constantly. The guy you the time. guy you trade's probably gonna have like maybe three or four of you running for him so he's constantly yeah. getting experience and he all pays right. them all like three mil each. I didn't even know it was a thing. All right, no yeah, one in the chat yeah. steals that. Dude. <laughs> I mean, like, like I, 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 I personally just don't podcast like it. in the video. That's right. going to be my filler video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll actually, I'll actually, I'll actually part. Part. I stick to parts. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, yeah. dude. We got it. <laughs> you got Lovely. It. We had oh, Sears on before as a uh, as a guest, and he said a lot of his videos, he doesn't know if they're going to be a hit or a miss. Do you feel that That was me. That was definitely me in the old days. Like, if you look at look at like there's gonna be videos of like 20k views and there's gonna like one i just did one hour from scratch level three account like i just got on level three and saw exactly how far i could do like and what like what i can do in an hour 24k views completely random and then um you have like one hour looting like pvp f2p world and then you have like it's like 30k views but then like one hour looting high risk worlds, 230k views. And like, I made less in this video. What the hell? That's crazy. Yeah, um, it's, it's just, you know. It's those titles, man. Those titles uh, and titles, ideas bro. is something I'm trying to grasp. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know. You just got to have a bracket like made bank, I guess. But like, that wasn't even it. I don't, I really don't understand. It was a weird thing. Like, it would like start off with no views and then it like progressively got more over time. That's not how like a normal video. Yeah, like yeah, watch yeah. time and promotion algorithm yeah. or something. Like you know, you know what it is? Uh, it's like the search terms. You know, they're very relatable search terms. It's, yeah, I like would, I think one hour of be. is a really like. Yeah, exactly. I think I like trademark that freaking search. Term. I'm making it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. What? It's just very popular. Did you, did you do a video what? recently? It's just like one hour of revenants of a pure. Was that you or is no, that someone no, else? No, 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 no. Yes, that was. And you've got so, like some insane fucking views for that, right? Um, it started out like 60k like a month, and then every, seven months from now, yeah, now it's like 146k. I'm writing it's down just... one hour on my whiteboard now. <laughs> uh, this, is just, this is just a pure, um, yeah, it was just a pure I had. It was a range pure, but like it was perfect because revenants were kind of new, crossbow was out, and it was just like, no one's gonna attack me at level 29 when I'm like 65 combat, right? Yeah. And, it made like two, it could make like two. It was like two point. It was like two point eight mil an hour. But I didn't get a drop in the video. Assuming you got drops though. Dude, that's that's mad. You got one hundred and three thousand views on that. That was three weeks ago. I did three videos three months ago of killing scolds revenants for ten hours. That got fifty k views. Same for unscold another ten hours, and then for PK yeah. for ten hours fifty k views. Like that's it's fucking really nuts. just off One the title is a new shit. It's the new shit, man. That, that's really insane. Weird, bro. Yeah, like, it's really weird. Sometimes you'll just spend one hour making a video or a couple hours. It'll pop. And then you'll, like, I spent 18 hours making 
I think every YouTuber has done a bond from scratch at this point. A lot of it, right? Like I did that. I just wanted to see if I like sit down, make a bond in one day. It took like 18 hours in F2P. What did you but do? I, um, so I did like jugs of water for a bit, and then I realized I was shit. Uh, um, because all the bots, <laughs> I need to make a. Someone needs to make a video on those bots, man. There's like 200 bots, bots at any given time on uh the free to play. The free to play fountain where like the bank chest in the PvP world is right beside the fountain. And you just yeah. make an account and you just run like a jug bot or whatever. They need to look into that because but people always need them for uh, wines, mm. right? Yeah. So and then I, I the late game strategy was just selling jewelry to the port serum to the port serum guy. Um like you know how you buy jewelry from the GE and you could sell it for high elk value to port serum shop for like 20 or it's like a percentage more basically if okay. you look into it um rip that method though because like i'm like every world is full it takes so long to sell the jewelry i think there was something like that in karumja where you could get the gloves yeah, with on, the gloves yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. another really good way to do it is capes though from the wilderness and yeah that's like, not items... super reliable though that's the only... that can make yeah, you yeah, some yeah, serious yeah. money but it's not super reliable and uh death runes but those are kind of everything's just body to shit like that's yeah kind of, yeah that's i mean it's so weird. easy to automate stuff nowadays is insane just it, make... it, it, dude it's so funny in the first episode of the series i'm doing i uh i was telegrabbing wines of zami and i said yeah. in the video i was like if you attack these i was like 99 percent of people here are bots so you just attack them and they run away and then yeah. i was getting a bunch of comments a few days later and they're like they've updated the bots so they attack back. <laughs> <laughs> the bots what right an impact, back dude. that's amazing yeah, yeah i comments. saw that but, yeah, it was so it, like as soon as as soon as a white dot came inside of that little church, I just attacked them and they just ran. So that like it was my world, do you know what I mean? But if they were attacking back, that's annoying as hell. Yeah, man. Like, that that is, is really uh, annoying. Like <laughs> I think I've single handedly made the GE kind of AIDS because like I do a lot of stuff at the GE, which I've kind of tried to stop now. Like, and I just see like I'll see on what like I've I've done a video where I've done taking junk, selling weed. Uh, <laughs> I hope this stream doesn't get flagged. Um, it's over for no, us. Yeah. Yeah, um, hey, it's my stream anyways. So you, do you know the good. thing where like the dude traded up like a paper clip to a house or whatever? Like in real life though? It was what like some, some dude did. It took like quite a while though. Yeah, he just like bartered people like different items for different stuff. I did that with like one for like one GP and I got it up to like D I got it up to like Sears Ring or something. And it, it like I'll I'll see someone in like I'll see in like a common world. Someone doing like three different video ideas, like three different people, and I'm just like, oh god, dude, like, because uh, when someone does something like after a video, it's like not gonna work, but like usually, right? <laughs> yeah, like the method's dead, and I'm just like, ruined. Just find something like the the whole point's not to copy me, it's to like find something else that works, like a money making method that works. It's like I do a flipping video, like low volume flipping, where like you can buy items for literally half the price, like some clue scroll items just get dumped right how many times have you put one gp the g all the time like i, I bought it all once i bought time. a d sim for 500k by accident because <laughs> i just i was on a pure and i was just putting like one mil d sim because it can't be asked to like go up a couple percent and it not sell because <laughs> i'm just trying to pk and i bought the thing for 500k because it must have been a really <laughs> no uh, problem there is you just using a d skimmy to pk man a one time buy <laughs> yeah that's yeah, an yeah, expensive yeah. d skimmy man fuck me yeah, yeah, it's like funny. I like I like that. I like the way that the G works. Like you can put a feather in the G right now for a mil. Maybe in a year it sell for a mil. Like exactly. if you get lucky, it, yeah, it's just the way the G is. If you're like the only offer, you know, for like a split second, you know, exactly. And someone in patience, and, um... like you know what, max cast this. Boom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Anyways, boys, should we wrap it up? Well, yeah, I mean, we should cover all yeah, the topics unless. That was a long. How long were we? How long has it been yeah. going? It's like two it's hours. Over two sorry. hours, man. Uh, over two hours. Two hours and twelve yeah. minutes. All right. Yeah, Statistically well. challenged, man. Where can the people find you? What are your social media? Um, like? YouTube and like I don't really use Twitter too often. It's, it's just it's linked on the YouTube. Just just YouTube. Um, you can put in like slash c slash statistically underscore or statistically challenge one word. Um, you guys will probably have the link, I guess. Yeah, you so, can. You know, uh, hell no, man. You hell can, no. Dude. You hell can face no. the. You, get, you get it right here and now. Yeah, and you yeah, yeah. Shot, yeah. Bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> now we're, so we're you're getting a you link. <laughs> yeah, you can just uh, post your official YouTube link 
on on the Discord, and we can just yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the description. Uh, <laughs> just just uh, just yeah, YouTube, basically. Get a link, dude. Funny man. Like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll sort you out in the I, description if, of the video. If man. I'm streaming or anything, it's gonna be there. Um, it's not gonna be uh, on YouTube Twitch. Stream. So. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, stream. I sometimes I stream like. Thanks for the link. Clicking a door for ten hours or something. If I'm training the wilderness. So that's what I gotta do. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. You hey, people content. watch it. Yeah. All right, well, stream. dude, thank you very much for coming on, man. We appreciate having you on. Two hours. We really do appreciate it. That was a long time. Yeah. Yeah, that was a long one, boys. But there's a lot to talk about. So thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah. If you words, uh, are still watching, type Mod Jet as a hero in the comment section. All right. Good <laughs> Just a little test.